maybe. Right. Fucking thing sucks! We'll do it live. Welcome back to Cruising with Steak. Here we are, Tuesday night, episode 99, live on Grimerica FM. It's all happening. And I'm joined by some beautiful people, as always. We'll start out with my number one man, Mr. James Cruz. What's going on? Hey, man. We also are joined by Mr. Jerry Cthulhu. <coughs> I was muted. I'm sorry. That's, 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 that's all right. It happens. On this momentous occasion. Momentous, 99. Better than 100. It's 33 times 3, baby. It is. That's so many threes. We're also joined by Mr. Assman, a.k.a. Cliff Wall, a.k.a. Sir Felix Ortega. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and we also got Mr. Uh, that guy here. <laughs> hey, I am glad I'm here, and I'm glad you are here. Yes. Oh man. So, welcome to the show, guys. Well, let's. I want to start it off with a heavy heart to say R.I.P. to a UFO investigator that has been in the field for years, decades, Mr. Stanton Friedman passed away i think last night of a possible i don't know if it was like a stroke or what it was but he up and died in an airport collapsed in an airport collapsed in an airport no he'll never be a mistake yeah he'll never be well yeah but dude it's just no it's a major loss to the ufo field man he's big he was like the number one proponent of the eth hypothesis real big nuts and bolts i like friedman a lot but mm-hmm. as they say with science, science moves forward one funeral at a time. So does ufology. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, and yeah. I, I think his ideas are outdated and need to change. So, I mean, since he was such an anchor in the community, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know who's going to step up to that. Yeah. Yeah. You got maybe like your rich Dolans. I mean, that's really next in line. I could see that's kind of still pushing a possible nuts and bolts. Stanton T. Friedman, nuclear physicist, lecturer, and world-renowned devotee of extraterrestrial existence, age 84. Man, yeah, died in Toronto's pers- uh, yeah, t- Toronto's Person International Airport. <laughs> Pearson, mm-hmm. sorry. Died at an airport? Yep. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. His wife confirmed that Tuesday, which would be today. She said he was on his way home for a um, speaking engagement in Ohio. <gasps> ah, so he just did a he just did a lecture. Oh, yeah. Man. She did not know the cause of his death and asked that the family's privacy be respected. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> He's back. There was yesterday and today and like I don't know what this the span was like, I think 14 hours. There was a huge geomagnetic storm. Hmm. That hit the earth and the KP level got up to seven even. And if he was flying around up there, you know, mm. the amount of cosmic rays and shit you get now when you fly in a commercial airline is pretty high. Is it really? Oh, yeah. There's not a good defense That's on there about under, that, really? <laughs> under, under normal conditions, I'll look up the figures for you. Right. Under normal conditions, it's it's pretty, you know, it's more than being on the ground. Put it that way. All right. Man. What if this magnetic storm plus all that shit somehow triggered his pacemaker or an aneurysm or something like that because it, there's so much crap flying around? It's possible. I mean, mm. I wouldn't rule I just anything find out. it very coincidental. And Doris Day died too. Jeez. And so Tim Conway, after we were just fucking talking about him last week. Yeah. 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 With, yeah you, that was crazy. You and Suzanne were just talking about that's nuts. Welcome, yeah. Jacob. Hey, how you doing? Look what we did. Day died. Yeah, everybody's dying these days, huh? Coming threes. Mm -hmm. Look twice before you cross the street, guys. There's been more than. 
Yeah. Let's see, more Stanton, than three uh, just today, I think. Let's see. He first uh, became interested in UFOs in 1958. He began lecturing on the topic in 1967, but actually never saw one himself. <laughs> I've never seen a flying saucer, and I've never seen an alien. But remember, I chased neutrons and gamma rays for a lot of years as a physicist and never saw one of them either. And he told the Canadian press in 2007, in fact, I've never seen Tokyo, but I'm convinced it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably uh, believe moon. Too. What about the, the G spot? Oh, it's there. No, dude, that's a mess. Wasn't, wasn't, was Dan Friedman like the, one of the, one of the first guys to investigate the Roswell thing, the Roswell yeah, crash. He, yep. Yeah. He was like one of the first investigative journalists that went out to independently check it out. Well, he also got big at what wasn't he all about the MJ 12 stuff and everything like he was, mm-hmm. he's a bit, he, he's definitely added a ton, ton. He was one of the first people to talk about the men in black too, wasn't he? Yeah, it's possible. I'm not sure about that. Mm-hmm. John Kilden or, uh, Ed Mosley or John Kill, one of those two did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he was like one of the early ones to talk about it. Wasn't it? the original hipster, um, UFOlogist. <laughs> My, it, it was a beat I think it was gray barker actually oh, gray barker uh, men in black related to bob barker <laughs> i just watched a documentary on netflix uh called the man who knew too much and it was this dude that like studied and wrote an algorithm and everything for the price is right and he yeah, had right. every price down to like the, the T man. And he went to 27 tapings of the show. Jeez. And uh, he got on once and uh, he got, uh, he, he made it to the wheel and then someone beat him. So he didn't make it to the showcase, but he, he made it there a bunch of times and got people to win shit and stuff. It was pretty crazy. How do you know the prices? Like, because I swear that all of their showcases they jacked up the price like insanely high. Nope, oh, not nah, manufacturer retail prices. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Like he had it down to like say there was a Lazy Boy recliner, they would show three different ones, and he knew every fucking thing about it. Like Man. he knew everything. I mean, sometimes system. well they tried to get him on a few things. Well, get people that would study the prices. Say like they had a car, like uh, it was a, a Camry, you know. But what they did was they offered different versions of the Camry, one with uh, with power windows, and you know, or one without power window, you know. So they would try to. So then he would get that down to a science. Like it was crazy, man. Like he knew the prices, no doubt about it. But he never and, won. He spent but, his but he didn't. I mean, no, it. he got other people to win. He he his the yeah, coach. Yeah, he would like coach people in the audience. You know, he, you know, people would turn around and be like, "What is it? What is it?" You know, he's always yelling out. Well, yeah, that is so lame. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> this guy <laughs> lame. Had but, uh, Jerry had purpose, and he his was life. obsessed with it. Yeah, he even wrote his own like DOS game. You know, like old DOS system, Family Feud game, and he had it. Price, he, price is right. Tattoos. Zero's eighty basic. It was crazy. Yeah, you, you guys got to see it. It's on Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's pretty. It's interesting. Left? But Bob Barker, oh my god, he looks a mess. Like yeah. he's he's old for sure. Like doesn't look like he did in Happy Gilmore or anything. He's not going the way of Dick Clark, yeah. huh? No. No. Uh, I he, mean, he was he was looking pretty pretty haggard before he left. Price is right. Like yeah, he's. He looks like he's been out in the sun way too many years and just, mm-hmm. oh, he, he's got them Those sunspots all over him. Yeah, <laughs> now you and, got Alex, uh, Alex Trebek now. He's got cancer. Terrible cancer. Ooh, like he's, really? He's got, is that why he's yeah, retired? I mean, he's been pancreatic. doing the show forever. I know that. But. <laughs> yeah, man. Another one. He, he got us. sick and he got sick and he made it about uh, stage like it was stage four or something. Yeah, I think it was stage four pancreatic We're cancer. Yeah. yeah, he was really cool about it too. His announcement, I was like mm-hmm. impressed with the way he did it. You know, yeah. he's a pro. He's, he's probably he's sick of life. He's a pro. Having yeah. to do that show with all the idiots come through there. God, I, I don't know if I could keep it together to do that. 
oh, whatever. You had to do a show for what? Like, it's a half hour show. Maybe he spends an hour on set a day. Pff, he had the cushiest gig. Uh, they probably <laughs> record like a week at a time or something. Don't yeah. They don't show record it every day, do they? Uh, they recorded like three days a week or something. I don't yeah. know a lot about that. <laughs> Interesting. Well, three want, or four oh. shows a day, though. I wonder if he has to prep. If if he decides he's gonna, you know, take on some ownership of any of that, uh, uh, any he of the just trivia. reads the cards. He's a smug Canadian. Just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So I wonder that. how much like research he did before the shows to like oh, have none. A background and all the questions. None. Like, he can, none. He can he's pronounce things like well. sorting coke off a of hooker's asses and shit. It's possible. <laughs> Wouldn't oh. you? If you, I, I'm gonna die. It'd work if you can yeah. get it. Yeah, if I had that L- Alex rich Trebek and money, famous and not bad looking, and I'm gonna die. Yeah, get those whores in here. <laughs> I mean, if he's good looking and all that stuff, then he probably doesn't have to pay for it. But you know, if he's if he's one of the listeners of CWS, uh, he could be sitting at home right now and saying, "Damn, I've been I've been missing out all this time." <laughs> he's like, oh, my boy Jerry's got it got it going on. <laughs> but if he if he's listening to CWS, he needs to come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe we should reach out. I don't think anybody listens to this show. Alex, if you're listening, drop a note to uh, drop a note to that guy. Bad guy. Grim will hook you up. Mm-hmm. Grim will hook you up with the email address. Yeah, just the intelligence agencies assigned to us are who listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I think if anybody's listening to us uh, from from the feds, it would be an unintelligence agency. <laughs> yeah, they got to download it and put it in our file. You know, there we go. <laughs> so, did you guys watch that uh, that John Oliver sketch that I posted in the chats yesterday? Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. Okay, Felix, you're muted. That's way. In, that's insane. <laughs> um. Price is wrong, bitch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Basically, he was uh, he did this like twenty minute segment, and it started out with about the Green New Deal, and then it slowly transitioned into why carbon tax is a good thing, and how we should all be paying carbon tax because you know, it's just the right thing to do, and it, yeah. it just. It, it it really rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> like I mean, I never the guy's insane. Dude, it's ridiculous. John Oliver's fucking. Government propaganda. 100%. 100%. So is Jimmy Kimmel, so is whatever, whoever else is on TV at night anymore. I have no idea. Yeah. What's his name that used to do? Uh, Tavis Smiley? I was thinking of the Fallon. guy here. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, I hate Jimmy Fallon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. I'm sugar it, man. Just tell us. It was the guy awesome. that was Craig Ferguson. Yeah, I, I like Craig Ferguson. It's just that Scottish attitude, you know. <laughs> I liked uh, Jeffrey. The skeleton? The skeleton in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still on? Is that guy still on? No. no. The skeleton? No, the uh, Neither person. are on. Uh, yeah. Have you seen Drew Carey lately? Speaking of Drew Carey show. Oh, Drew Carey is batshit crazy. Besides that, he's like rail thin. Buddhist. He's Buddhist. Really? He got he skinny, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's I like a blue smug now. Or he's been cloned. Maybe. He's a, he wanna, he's a Cleveland guy, right? So. Yep. No? Was. No, Drew, no, he's, um, Drew Carey is. He's, yeah. who do we oh, live? Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Drew I'm Carey, sorry. Yeah. Wait, we should, where did Grim go? Jim Carey. Yeah, Jim, Jim Carey is who is, I was thinking of. He's Canadian, isn't he? Yeah, he's Kanukistani. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, he's batshit crazy. I used to yeah, listen to the, That's going to get me some hate mail, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I, the record misses that guy is Canadian, so I just keep it. Like we care, <laughs> you know. I, I used to listen to the Duncan Trestle show a lot, and I don't really listen to it much. And the last one I think I listened to was uh, Drew Carey was on it, but it was just a real weird episode. And they both seemed <laughs> to be like having a conversation with themselves, and uh, yeah. So Drew Carey's he's become kind of like a uh, he meditates a lot now, supposedly nowadays. Supposedly. 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 I I wonder if he's figured out how not funny he is anymore. Uh, Yeah, and he's he's on the 
Is it the price is right, price is right now? Yeah. yeah, he's price is right guy. But they need to bring uh, whose line is it anyway back? Come on. Oh, Drew, no. I, again, I did it again. Drew Carey or Jim Carrey, not Drew Carey. Oh, Jim Carrey. Oh, oh Jim Carrey's in the new uh, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog yeah, he's movie. Doctor Robotnik. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys talk about that already on the show? How about the big controversy over how stupid the Sonic looks, or <laughs> how it doesn't look like the original? No, I mean, no. yeah, I, we didn't talk about it, but yeah, there was. I a posted of, a lot of memes about it. Oh yeah, the memes are just they're fertile. It's fertile memes out are, there for that. Are you guys are you guys upset about it? About nah. His I, I didn't really care. I've never been that sure big of a Sonic fan. Fine. Yeah, Sonic's I Sonic. raged and raged What's and your, raged and raged. Were you talking about Harry Carey? I thought I heard my name. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't get upset as I've been about the newest season of Game of Thrones, but we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, I don't even want to watch the show now because people are talking about it so much. Yeah, that's uh, it's, kind of like, dude, it's at, an amazing yeah. show because people ask me all the time, "Are you watching Game of Thrones?" Like I, they they want to pull you into the conversation, and I can always say, "No, I don't watch it." Mm-hmm. So when that dies down, maybe I'll watch it. Well, now it's done, so you can watch the whole thing at least. So. Exactly. Yeah. I, I usually wait till the series is over. Yeah, Most there's one more, more, I think. So, if I got hooked, yeah, I got sucked into that one. Right when it started, because I was like, Duh. "Fucking, I love TV, and there's something <laughs> with like fantasy and medieval shit. I'm all about it." This is, what was this like 2012 or 2010 when it started? I don't even Eight remember. Years ago. Somewhere, I think it was 2011. Actually, 2011. Yeah. Fuck. Well, yeah, I was... started watching it when it first came out, and then mm-hmm. I think I rage quit it about three or four times. But then I'd get yeah. everybody's talking about it, so I don't. I'm like, okay, I want to be part of the conversation. Watch it again. What's the whole game about? Is it like? uh is it just about how they fight for land? Are you guys talking about Game of Thrones? <laughs> yeah. Game of Cards? Yeah. Are you serious? The House of Thrones? Thrones? It's the kingdom making. Yeah. Is it a game to them? Is it a game of to them? Of course it is. It's to rule the Iron Throne. There's oh. where the name Throne comes from, which is... To... Especially the Lannisters, you know? <laughs> it, seems more, it seems more life and death than, than a game. They're not, it doesn't seem like they're playing. I no, heard it's no, loosely no based on the, the War of the Roses. Yep, yep, it is. That and makes a lot of sense. Fantasy put on top, and mm-hmm. that's exactly what it is. The Tudors with with dragons and there you go. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, supernatural War of the Roses. Mm-hmm. Beyond the like the wall up in the north is uh, Hadrian's Wall. Probably. Hadrian's Wall. Yeah. Is this Cowboy. supposed to take take place like ten thousand years ago, or how long ago in? It could no, be the future for all we know. It doesn't matter. It's a separate mm-hmm. dimension. Yeah, yeah, it's alternate reality. <laughs> it's it's now there. It could be. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's crazy. But we, we don't know. We need to build a wall. It's and true. And it has but... to be built quickly. But for some reason, you guys were talking about the Game of Thrones like a week or so ago, and I was imagining like a spinoff that was thousands of years later, and it's like modern day, and there's somehow they, this mm-hmm. Game of Thrones the the motifs are still there, but it's maybe on like Wall Street or something instead. <laughs> New York. That's, how the, that's how the Starbucks cup ended up there. It was a fossil. It was it's a like... fucking paid promotional advertisement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Triggered. Not that's triggered. why it was pointed out right away. It's not like, you know. Yeah, it was pointed it, out. It, it I never saw old. it. No, do you got to explain they, that to our they, viewers? Do you got to explain that to the viewers? They, they, just they wiped it. They wiped it from, uh, like, if you watched it live, it was there. But then oh. right when it got pointed out, they went back and they wiped it. So, like, if you watch it now, you will never see that cup. Because Starbucks only paid $10 million. Yeah, they exactly. They had to pay 50 to keep it in there. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, they couldn't <laughs> keep it in there and have the controversy about it. So yeah. you know. I read that the controversy caused seven hundred thirty-seven million five hundred forty thousand dollars, <laughs> two point three billion dollars <laughs> increase in sales. From wow! I, I really that never made sense to me. Like uh, I don't think I've ever bought anything because this guy was drinking the soda or whatever the hell. Yes. Yeah, what about tacos? That's because we're normal. Yeah. I eat tacos because they're delicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it has nothing to do I mean, with yeah. commercials. What about that fourth meal over at uh, Levy's Meal? Taco Bell. <laughs> you know, or, you know, yeah. th- you know that coin. That coin <laughs> is is redeemable for ten roll tacos. Or it's true. <laughs> if you send ten roll tacos, I will issue you with that coin. Pink tacos. How many that coins for a blowjob? 
you don't have enough. <laughs> Choco tacos, or you will never have that many that uh, roll coins. Tacos. Roll tacos. <laughs> oh, not Choco tacos. Not Choco. Yeah, you tacos. have to shave. What is this amateur hour? No, no, this? no Choco tacos. <laughs> I hope you wipe a lot. Aren't those fish ice tacos? Cream? No, they're, no fish tacos or bendy tacos. Yeah, I don't like fish tacos. Mm. Bendy I like pork tacos. tacos. A good pork taco is nice. Shrimp tacos. Yeah. No, the not shrimp. Get carne. Yes. Pork. Pork's the best meat for yeah, shrimp tacos. But yeah, how about um what's it called? El Pastor. Oh yeah. That's my favorite. El Pastor, yeah. Yeah. So what about uh, uh Pizza Hut like, treats of treats of pizzas. It's like Mexican pork euros with pineapple. Mm. Ooh. I had some Cuban Cuban sliders. My wife made some little mini Cuban sliders. Uh, what made them Cuban? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 hold it. Describe a Cuban slider. Yeah, yeah. What it's is this? Like the, the ham and the mustard, and it's like glazed, uh, like rolls, and there's little, pickle little in pickles. it. Pickles. Yeah. Cheese. Mm. Were those Hawaiian rolls? They were like Hawaiian rolls. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hawaiian rolls are great. It's I, interesting. It's, you, 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 I think, and, and I'm the sure press, not, you press a lot, about like quarter inch in a panini press. No, they were they were puffy. We kept them puffy. That's oh, wrong. Okay. Fuck that. <laughs> you, don't like, you don't like them puffy? <laughs> you call it a Cuban if you don't press it? I mean, that's... That's yeah. not a Cuban, then. It's a slider. Uh, a slider? No, it's not a Cuban if you don't press it. You know, I'll tell you something. When I was a kid, white, I lived in Chicago, and we were, there were White Castles everywhere. And we went to White Castle. Like, when we're drunk, you go to White Castle to get mm-hmm. food. As a kid? As as a you know, <laughs> sixteen as a to twenty twenty year old, whatever. Oh, okay, all right. Freaking age was eighteen when I was a kid. Mm. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we called them sliders as a joke because they slid through you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's. I that's think I thought that's why the they were called. Yeah, that's why they were called sliders. And then they got adopted just as little burgers. It's very right, weird because they started hiring the kids who would call them that. So of course they just call them sliders, and now they've adopted it, as you said. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's very weird. <laughs> There's Jerry. There's Jerry <laughs> <and> slider. <laughs> Drunken babies drinking sliders. Oh man, I hope you These dump a lot. Old. Ah, we should do meme review the video. Like oh, that'd be Peter pretty Tom. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> not a bad idea. That guy. You said you yes. got you, you mentioned something about hackers or something earlier. You got something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, we some stories, guys. Yeah, just coming into it stone cold, sure. Yeah, Heck okay. Yeah. That's how we do it. There's no transition. I'm just gonna say that guy. <laughs> Story it's time. Like being, on, like being on shore patrol in the Philippines in the eighties. Get in there, goddamn it, pull yeah. out <laughs> Uh, oh, I just looked in the Discord and uh, uh, K Dog had to say, "Uh oh." To Jerry, he's like talking about the sliders. He said, "I hope you wipe a lot." I hope you wipe a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping up, K Dog. <laughs> I'm relying on you to keep us honest, brother. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm just looking for the creepiest right. skinny picture of Drew Carey I can find. Hackers. 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 Uh, hackers. All right. So back on target. Okay. <laughs> I like this. Uh, so, so I was looking at, uh, I was looking at a couple of, uh, uh, at a couple of news reports from this, uh, from this thing uh, that had happened last, I guess it was last weekend. Not, not just this last weekend, but like the, the weekend of the fifth. Right. And uh, someone was making the comment that uh, this was the first time. Um, well, let me back up for a second. One of the things that came out of uh, of some some issues that were happening in uh, issues that's kind of soft pedaling it, I guess. There was bombing and shit going on over in uh, over in Israel. Mm-hmm. So um, on the north end of the Gaza Strip. There's a uh, there's a town, a city called uh, Akshalon, and what had happened was the Palestinians had developed a new artillery rocket, uh, and apparently they're a little better at 
uh, at targeting now than they were before. They used to just lob hundreds of these things and hope that it would blow up a chicken someplace. Uh, but they're getting a little better at it, and they're they're uh, <clears throat> uh, the lift is a lot heavier, and they go farther. Um, and they ended up uh, they ended up hitting some office buildings and things like that. I don't know if anybody died or anything, but uh, while this attack was going on, and we didn't hear about it until about a week later, um, the Israelis uh, called in an airstrike on a on a very particular building in uh, in in Gaza. Mm -hmm. So it turns out we found out later that that building and this, the particular spot that they hit in the building uh, was actually the offices where the Hamas uh, cyber division operates. Oh, damn. Yeah. (laughs) So looking more into it, uh, we found out that uh, this happened during the cyber attack, or excuse me, during the uh, during the the rocket barrage. No oh, shit. So there's been a certain amount of speculation that uh, that the Israelis had had attacked this specific location, these these people, this building, mm-hmm. uh, for the purpose of of disrupting this attack. Um, and so I started doing a little bit of research on it and, uh, I'll give you a little background. So it, it used to be that, uh, that people would qualify, uh, uh, speaking of, uh, in terms of, uh, computer security and, uh, and, and hackers and so on, people used to qualify risk, uh, around computer security by, uh, uh, by pointing out that uh, whenever whenever there was a problem uh, or attacks against a computer, that the, the the impact only happened in the computer; it didn't happen outside in the real world. Um, but over time, we've gotten uh, we've gotten more reliant, right, on the uh, on the technology, and uh, and when it comes to uh, when it comes to the um, uh, when it comes to the real world and uh, people that are uh, people that are using computers for manufacturing and uh, information and commerce and things like that. Uh, it's taken on a more critical role and it, it does that a lot, especially in, uh, in industry and in, uh, 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 and in the military. So uh, what's been going on is uh, as, as uh, computers and information technology and, co- and electronic communication has become more basic in, uh, in just and basically everything in commerce, yeah. um, people have been not uh, have been not taking into account the idea that that people are using this information and the systems in the real world. So, um, in uh, it, it, Middle East in particular, uh, this this is a, a really raw and active place for cyber attacks. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so, Palestinians working for Hamas have been. Um, engaged in the um, uh, in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict for a long time, right? So, um, even as far back as like 2004, there's been there's been reports uh, of uh, combatants uh, basically trading punches, even across the uh, the geopolitical lines uh, with 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 other hackers and with the military and with law enforcement and so on. Uh, but for a long time that the conflict was really limited uh, to pretty much just collecting intelligence uh, and influence operations, uh, you know, trying to sway p- uh, public opinion and so on uh, and, and spyware. Ooh. Yeah. So May 4th this year, uh, 2016, for those of you who are listening, or excuse me, 20, 2019, for those of you who are listening <laughs> in the far future, you can edit that out, Graham. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, That's the year of the dog, right? 2016? No, it's it's the current years, right? So they, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> these uh, the Israelis ended up blowing up this, uh, this, this headquarters in the middle of the cyber attack. And, you know, this is, you know, it's not really the first time uh, that that a uh, that a hacker's been specifically targeted uh, by the military of of some nation, uh, but it does seem uh, to a lot of people like it's the first time that it's happened during the actual process of an actual attack 
as a direct military response, right? So uh, hackers, the crazy. U.S. has blown up the, the U.S. has blown up hackers before, um, specifically because they were hackers uh, and and the influence that they had on the real world. But uh, it, it's it's starting to take on uh, it's starting to take on a certain kind of. Uh, uh, um, legal and political implications that it hasn't before. So um, a lot of folks are saying that uh, that it's a legitimate military target, uh, while a whole bunch of other people are saying that you know, like hackers are are unarmed and the attack is completely unjustified. They just have computers in front of them. Uh, but I, I think that the, the, the challenge that we're facing though is unless un, un, unless and really actually even until we learn more about exactly what was happening in that building when it was attacked. Uh, really, none of us are going to have any kind, of, any kind of information to form a valid opinion. Uh, whatever happens, I think um, it's only going to get more complicated and messy. Uh, the, just, the, go ahead. It's just interesting how you know it's it's like taking out these hackers. It's just a whole new level of warfare that they're going to. Like, you know, in the past, mm -hmm. like if you're trying to take somebody out, you knock out their food resources or knock out something else. It's like now it's like go for the hackers first. It's, it's just the yeah. cyber war. It's insane. Take out their smart guys. Yeah, well, take there's, out there's, their a, smart guys. there's a couple of layers. There's a couple of layers to it, right? I mean, there's one, it's the hacker is kind of like the, the, the modern day version of, of, uh, uh, of the wizard or the trickster, depending on what traditions you follow, you know, that's, it's this person who knows how to do some kind of crazy shit that I don't understand that it affects. Me. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but by the same token, you know, the, the these guys uh, in Hamas, um, uh, these fellows were, uh, were, were really, uh, really active all the way back, you know, as far as like 2000, 2004 or something like that, where, uh, where they'd been, uh, they'd been involved in sending out, uh, uh, you know, doing things like, um, subverting websites and, and taking over people's web browsers and stuff like that. And, and, and more recently they've been doing things like, uh, they've been doing stuff like, um, um, uh, scrambling, uh, well, they've been, They've been making they've been making uh, web phone applications or web web applications that run on your their, your cell phone, like they scramble app. signals and things. No, actually, they steal information and they <laughs> they report back and they run malware on your phone. Yeah, and hmm. so uh, you know, and I, and I'll be the first person to tell you this: this is absolutely I have absolutely no evidence of any of this stuff, <laughs> but 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 and th there's not even any reports about any of this stuff, but it's not beyond the scope of possibility that it doesn't exist folks. Yeah. Well, there's that. <laughs> it's elect it's electron warfare. It, it, well, yeah, it is electronic <laughs> warfare technically. I mean, just by the, by the definition of it, but it, it's, it's not beyond the scope of possibility that, that, Sorry. that, that soldiers can be carrying cell phones in their homeland, right. In their pocket. Uh, and you know, that software could be reporting on them across the internet to the adversary. And who like knows? It I mean, isn't you can, now. Say again. Like it isn't not. I mean, it already is doing that. All they need to do is intercept the stream. Well, it can happen. Well, I mean, they don't even need to intercept it if they can. If they can get somebody to install some software and just report to them where they are. Like you know, you can you can see programs, right? I remember seeing something like that not too long ago about how uh, they could figure out where how many like troops they had stationed at a particular base and all this because of the soldiers using social media on their phones. Oh, damn. And Fitbit. But they're all wearing like RFID oh, tags. Fitbit. No, but soldiers don't wear RFID tags. Oh, yeah, sure. They, they don't. Do. There's RFID <laughs> tags somewhere in them. I was, them. I was just going to say that it's probably inside of them that they don't even know about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's under their big, big toe. How many shots does a new soldier have to get? Like 60? Oh, they anytime you go out. over, anytime you go overseas, you gotta get oh, shot. This this reminds me of um the did you see the Black Mirror episode where the military how they manipulate the military minds? No, <laughs> this is like a real good episode. Basically, everyone gets tricked into joining the military, and they basically warp their minds to thinking that just regular old people are like um zombified people, and it just taps into their brain. It like intercepts their brain signals to the soldiers and whenever they see these regular people 
they are these people that the military complex doesn't want them, you know, wants to eradicate. They see these people and they have like a zombie look on their face when in actuality, they're actually just normal, you know, persecuted type people. It's a pretty crazy episode. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, Black that's Mirror. that's nuts. <laughs> It was like a real good episode at the uh-huh. end. This this guy goes home and he he he's imagining going home and having like a big homecoming and he goes home and it's all beautiful and his wife's at the door, but it's just this video that's being played in his head and they show what it really looks like and it's just like a rundown oh. uh, building, a rundown <laughs> house and there's just like war torn city, inner city, man, Pretty crazy. And then, and then they say like, "Hey, you agreed to do this," and they they play back a video of him, um, the moment before he got like the implant or whatever, and he agreed. He's just like a stupid kid, like, "Yeah, I'll join the military, whatever. I'll do anything." And he signs the signs away, and then they implant him and just totally take over his mind. Damn, fuck. <laughs> Let's go get those booster Crazy shots, episode. people. That's why we don't get any shots yeah. anymore. Tell <sighs> yeah, I haven't had a. Any type of shot and no, man, years and years and years and years. It's crazy. Tetanus? No, nah, man. I haven't. I, knock on wood. I haven't stepped on a crazy Step nail or anything working and stuff. Yeah. No jello mm-hmm. shots? Careful. Uh, I try to be careful. Speaking of work, I found an egg inside the drywall universe. Yeah, what was up with today. that, man? There was a, what's that? Was yeah, it like egg. was it a fresh egg or not fresh? Fucking but like egg, was it? Dude. Was it no, like an it egg wasn't that fresh? It was well, just an egg. Fucking egg. Fucking was it, egg, yeah. man. Was it, like a, was it like a was it like a hard boiled <laughs> egg? <laughs> yeah, yeah there was two of them inside the wall. It was nuts, dude. Was somebody nuts, got dude. real never... creative for Easter. That's what I'm thinking, uh, uh, dude. This, no, this was this was crazy. They had to been there in there for. A long time, man. Because uh, I mean, Ancient I'd eggs. say in the last f- fifteen years or so, it, it would have been in there. Because that bathroom was, it had a newer, like you know, some around and stuff in it. North so Belt. eventually, it got replaced. The bathroom did, but James, we pulled, we pulled the vanity off of there, off the wall, and then we smashed a whole. We we're trying to get to these, um, this this clog in a drain or something. We could. We spent like five hours trying to figure this out. It was, I, it's a long story, but anyway, we pulled the vanity off and smashed the hole in the floor and tried to get these pipes and pull out two eggs into the wall. I was like, get the so out. you're gonna hatch them, yeah. right? The drywall hatched life, dude. You need to I'm hatch them, you, dude. It's a thing. Were they, were they like chicken eggs you get at the store or were yeah, they, like yeah. eggs <laughs> yeah like, was it it was probably yeah. someone's lunch that was working it was there the built, weirdest built thing it. dude i could i i i don't know i was blown away <laughs> i i saw I, a little clickbait article of um <laughs> this high school this behind this like uh paper towel and garbage dispenser they at this high school they found they opened it up and there was a shrine to danny devito <laughs> you see that? Wow. <laughs> and there was just like little magazine clippings of Danny DeVito's face and like a couple, maybe like a movie box. Oh, I think it was Danny DeVito. And then the people, you know, the custodial people blocked it off officially so that no one can get to the dude. When Danny I was, uh, shrine. when I was working construction, uh, we, it was just like this, just scab carpentry company. We did everything and we were doing hardwood floors once and we took, we, this was like back when, uh, dude, for some reason, my boss had all these like printed out pictures of like really fat naked chick porn. Like it was, it was really weird. Like he was just mm-hmm. this weird dude. And we, we put them like under the, uh, the floorboards as we're putting the, the floorboards down. So somewhere <laughs> this person, if they ever rip their, their fucking hardwood floors up, they're going to see all these fat chicks on like printed out. 2004 paper like it dude it's just uh, weird shit happens when you're building houses it's like that's the, dude, that's dude, the tricks are spared in you it it's, it's a time capsule it, it really is it really is yes the porn it's, capsule those people are gonna laugh so hard when they open it up yeah, i hope so <laughs> i think it's a you're you're sending merriment to the future it, this, is, oh, this is what fat chicks look like at the turn of the yeah morning. the turn of the millennia yes <laughs> <laughs> so, so years and years ago, we had uh, this was in the late in the late 1900s. So it's like almost no one was alive back then. <laughs> so you were first uh, born, it, yes, you were a baby then, right? Okay. I was, I was, I was a baby, and I was an E5 in the Navy. And we had a piece of equipment that we towed behind the ship that had a giant spool, and there was a problem with this thing uh, that 
this piece of equipment broke and we uh, had to fix it. And it involved taking the spool off. And it was a huge spool that a person could stand up in. So it's a big piece of equipment. But we're in this thing uh, and we're, in, we're trying to fix it. And we had to take one end off of it. And one of, the, one of the guys in the team had to climb inside and look. And when he climbed inside, this no one had been in there for like 15 years. Mm. And on the inside of the spool, someone had written, if you can read this, you're fucked. Whoa. <laughs> 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 and, we, yeah. and, and we all smiled and that made things better. It didn't fix the equipment, but it, it was, it was good to get a, a, a message from the past. So James, you're fat, naked chicks. No, that was grim. That, that was me talking. <laughs> My grim, I'm sorry. Fat, naked eggs. Wrong. Fat, na- I, uh, this, naked eggs. This lady that lived there is kind of a. Uh, so that's large. hoodoo, huh? Hey, yeah. hey, hey. <laughs> you talk about my mom. <laughs> yeah, Talam Talam in the chat saying that that's that's some hoodoo spells. Putting oh yeah, uh, hoodoo yeah, I was just yeah, saying, hoodoo, putting eggs day. putting eggs in the wall or putting yeah. stuff in the wall like that. Yeah, huh. it, yeah, it sounds kind of hoodoo. Yeah, she could have been a witch. We can call Azalea Banks and find out. Azalea Banks. <laughs> mm. uh, well, she's she going off about something. For- then there's something wrong with and you. Scre- and certainly- s- <laughs> what was the one thing she's screaming about? How uh, like some Alex Jones shit about how they're using aborted fetuses for uh, the elites are using them for energy or something, which Skin is probably happening. Themselves. It's probably 100% <laughs> happening. After they suck all the juices and precious bodily fluids out oh, of the- <laughs> They take the stuff. juice. Of course. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but we don't know. But we don't know. They don't have to do that anymore because they got stores, retail stores. But we don't know. Yeah. That, that you can get the the blood from. Yeah. Weird times. Weird yeah. times oh, there was a thing I saw the other day about how, uh, I guess, the one of the Kardashians or something was doing these vampire facials. Oh, yeah? Oh. Uh, yeah. Where they, I guess they like put blood on their face and... and uh, well, yeah, I've heard about vampire Ooh, facial what? thing before. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that whole vampire facial thing. What was but, that um, shit that uh I know it's a thing. It's a thing. Hmm? But there was this one place like people were getting AIDS from it because I guess they had AIDS. Oh Christ! Blood and, like, but they got a cure for AIDS now. There's gonna be there's gonna be a new baby boom. Oh yeah, Trump. Uh, I heard signed that bill to get a bunch of like uh, that that. AIDS cure or something. I don't know much. I'm just spouting things that I think I read. I don't know what Trump signed, but I do know that they they're close to, to having a cure for AIDS. And once that happens, I I'm predicting there's going to be another baby boom. Yeah, Vampire baby. facial is a trendy skincare treatment that involves oh, drawing blood from a client's body, placing it in a centrifuge, and then reapplying it to the face, supposedly to promote uh, skin renewal. So it's whipped blood. I mean, I don't. I'm, yeah. I don't. I don't see a baby boom what? coming from uh, my generation or lower. We're just a bunch of autists that don't no, know how to communicate with each other. Fuck like rabbits. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it might yeah, be a baby boom people. from a bunch of baby boomers. Like who knows? Right, and there's a lot of forty year old women out there who can get pregnant. <laughs> Everybody oh, yeah. thirty or under isn't having sex at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's yeah. gross. They're, they're afraid of each other. Yeah, they don't want to touch you. Yeah, your generation's just gone celibate. Yeah. You guys, you guys just it, went hentai and the girls want like abs that guys that sit in front of the computer <laughs> you don't have. I so. just don't want like, I have to deal with another person in my life. That's that's the biggest thing. Yes. Yeah, it's, like it. that, it's like why can't like sex workers just be easily available? Like that's all like they are in if you didn't have to consider somebody else, right? Yeah, I don't want communication with another human. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> just think of all okay. the time you'll have to spend with them. God. Yeah, right now, right, <laughs> cutting into my anime watching time. How am I supposed to watch four hundred episodes of Gintama if you're fucking <laughs> you're ever, trying to hang? Did you ever watch Hero Mask? Oh, oh yeah. Oh no, I saw that on Netflix. I I tried to give it I a watch, it. but uh, yeah, I don't want to see that. I quit. It's better than Ultraman. man. Hey, what's uh, uh what, Hero Mask is really interesting. It's like a th- 3D mapping thing, like a uh, piece of cloth they would put over their faces, and then yeah, it, it's, it's some, some gnarly shit. Yeah, it's kind of like futuristic, it's a really cool, shows, like mystery yeah. show. Yeah, 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 it's pretty good. They call it Euro Mask, Hero, Hero. Hero. Yeah, Hero. Hero Mask. yeah, in English, um, English, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I probably should watch it in English. 
Um, God, I've been watching a lot of anime. Who lately. was that celebrity that uh, for for if, talking about the facial stuff? She used like foreskins uh, on her face. Oh. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell. What's <laughs> <laughs> like that's not much of a Cir- selling point. Cir- oh, it was Snooky from uh, Jersey Shore, but she wasn't talking about fate, you know. Sir, a help thing. It was, it was an Ellen. Sir. It was an Ellen DeGeneres interview. <laughs> circumcised. They're still facial. attached. I don't know if I should Google <laughs> circumcised facial. Oh, this isn't going to give me anything good. Circumcised. Facial. Who do we got in the chats? Uh, chatting it up. There's, There's a lot K-Dog. of people tonight. I think Fletcher's in there. From No Agenda Fame, Lennox Reverb. Oh, um, wow. Got, we got, uh, who else we got in there? Talam, of course. I saw uh, Lauren stop by. I know yeah, she's Lauren listening. Lauren was here for a minute. Yeah, yeah. K-Dog's in there. Yeah, we got, of course, K-Dog's there, but we don't know. I think Mr. Owl's listening in, which. Mr. Uh, Owl, what's yeah, up? Yeah, dude, we, there's, there's oh, peace, there's peace in the Middle East. He's oh, so controversial. Lennox, uh, Lennox Reverb's in there, too. Yeah, yeah, that's Fletcher. He's a great guy. Well, which, which hey, uh, a little cross promotion. He's got a podcast called Hog Story. You can listen live on Monday nights at uh, seven p.m. Hog Story. Check it out. Hogstory.com. On Great America. Where? Uh, no, he's uh, it's on the No Agenda. St- oh, no, he's maybe no, he's got his own stream. But uh, I'm still waiting for Adam. Yeah, they go to fucking put my. Show oh, dude, I'm, on dude. Are we're you, the only, are you crossing streams? We're the only show that's live <laughs> on Grimerica FM. Everybody's giving it up. OBM OBDM doesn't go live. Grimerica doesn't even go live on it. We're the only show that still goes live on this station. <laughs> so it's a failed experiment. Is that <laughs> one, well, dude, I don't know. We pull like 20 to 30 listeners when we're doing it. So oh, yeah, we're the only one that it. takes advantage of it. It's our station. <laughs> it's it's like a free it. podcast out of it. Exactly. Fortune favors the bold. I wanted to say that Talam, I noticed, looks a whole hell of a lot like Tim Pool. Yeah, he does. He does have that Tim Pool look. Yeah, yeah I, can see I that. think they might huh. be one and the same. Maybe. It's possible. People think I'm controversial, but the truth is, I'm a nice guy. Nice. It's true. Kind That's of. the truth. <laughs> what about these? I don't hold people? grudges against anybody. <laughs> so, did you guys know that um, Trump and Mueller had a tiff over some land or building rights back in New York a long time ago? No. Yeah. I did hear about that here just recently. Because yeah. Trump said something about it. How. Uh, he never liked was, the guy or something. Yeah, and like how it was a conflict of interest because, and we've had disputes in the past, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's 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 history between the, these people. It's interesting. Hmm. 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 What's uh What's up I with the tariffs? Well, yeah, with the Chinese tariffs going on right now. I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's a serious trade war happening. Who cares? Well, I mean. I, I don't know. I it mean, seems like it's something. It's what, gonna, <laughs> what's going to happen? Chinese shit's going to be a little more expensive. How do you know? But, but we don't know. But we don't. They're going to be. They're going to be a dollar twenty-five stores now. I just see. You know, our prices. <laughs> dollar twenty-five. Every, every, the price that everything I buy continually go up, regardless of what happens, and they go up at a steady rate, and the prices just keep going up and up and up and up and up. They don't ever go down. Oh, you never go to Walmart. You ever been to Walmart? Yes, they go on sale, but they never come down permanently. They're rolling back prices. They repackage <laughs> into smaller packages and charge oh. you the same amount of money. Mm-hmm. That's oh. what you get in dollar shows. Anyway. Walmart's been rolling back prices for the past 30, 40 years now, right? I I'm say, we're, we, you are so buying it. You are buying it. out of the store by now. <laughs> None of us are I was, I was just there. I got a vampire facial and a new set of tires. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and AIDS. It's just a shit. And AIDS. Yeah. And got your blood pressure check? Oh, yeah, in my eyes. And I also uh, went and got some milk. Oh, nice. You've got your blood pressure checked in your eyes? <laughs> in his yes. eyes. How's my in blood my pressure eyes. in my eyes? While getting a vampire facial. And milk. Yeah. And I got went and got some milk. No, he was getting milked. I was getting milked. (laughs) It's a full service place. I mean, it was one of those super Walmarts. They had everything. (laughs) Did it come with a happy ending? (laughs) Super Walmart. Man, those those, those places crush, just destroy small businesses. Oh, my God, dude. I have. (laughs) <laughs> I avoid Walmart at like all. They costs. built one out in my hometown, and like 
I mean, if you need a job for sure, go work there, man. But it's no, like, I mean, work there. gosh, but yeah. there was nothing like that when I was growing up out there. And I mean, I worked in a lumber yard. You we know? had the malls, remember? We, you could work at like, but yeah, yeah. Well, mall, I had to go, you had to travel like 25 minutes to get to the mall. Yep. So it really wasn't worth going to work there you when I was. Take the kid. fucking bus. Fuck. No, I had a car. It's just like, you had to have a car like where I lived, Andy, for sure. And so I had a car like when I turned 16. I got, I bought a car, and, but I was already kind of working before that. But and but uh, yeah, it was either that or you you know you could work at these little random uh, places like the lumber yard, you know, where I worked at. And just but or you could work at like fucking McDonald's or something, you know, which I also did. That was my first job. I worked at mcdonald's and then i got the job at the lumber place yeah oh my god my oh, first, just, just chucking wood my very first job was uh i was a dishwasher at an ice cream parlor oh man in chicago interesting my second job was a, a salesman at a computer store oh god <laughs> yeah. i worked at a jack-in-the-box I worked at Radio Shack. How was that? A Radio Shack. Dude, yeah. I, I applied for Radio Shack and I was too young. I was like 12. <laughs> I think I actually applied for Radio Shack too. I what have the... a good brush with greatness story. It's related to Radio Shack. Oh. Yeah. Let's hear it. It was 1984 or five. I don't remember. It was a year a TR, a Tandy came out with this. They called it a laptop. It was a, basically a brick, a small brick with um, like a forty-character LCD screen. Yeah, remember that? It was called the TR, the Tandy. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. it had a three hundred baud modem built into it. Mm -hmm. Jesus. And yeah, it was a piece of shit. That's old. So I worked in the the store on One Mag Mile on Michigan Avenue in Chicago downtown, and. I was a customer service rep. I forget what I was, but I was a, like a technical install. I was a fucking install cable installer for computers for Radio Shack. You know, I went would go install at people's houses or install software. So anyway, one day Gene Siskel came in and, and bought one of those, and he needed training, in, installation, and training on how to use that software to upload his stories to the, did, the Tribune. Did, did you touch his thumb? I did not touch his thumb. I shook his hand. <laughs> was it that thumb or was it the other thumb? It was his right Wait, hand. How did you shake his hand? It that? doesn't fucking matter. So <laughs> I got you to didn't go caress his thumb? This is a true story. I got to go to <laughs> it, was like, it was like this. Yeah. I don't remember. A bro I don't hug. thing when I was that was age. bro hug. <laughs> they didn't do that. They were just. No. Yeah. <laughs> Fist that before, was, yeah, fist bump. This was anyway. I don't remember what they did. Anyway, <laughs> this was this was pre bro. Right. <laughs> can I can I get a picture with your thumb? <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to hear it. I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I got to meet his wife, and they had just had a baby. <laughs> And I showed him how to use the software, and he uploaded a review he'd written for a movie called Streets of Fire mm -hmm. that came out. So I got to watch that upload, and like, it was, I think it was like 56 baud. It was really fucking slow. Like two characters, <laughs> like tick, 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 tick. And, and that was it. That was it. That was the whole, the whole thing. It was an afternoon. Good times. And then he died. I think he I. In, in hindsight, I think he had just found out he was sick and wanted to work from home and, mm. and uh, spend as much time as he could with his family. Was it? I, I'm guessing it was, I'm it's guessing the it was before the surgery, right? Before they did the thing with his jaw? That was Ebert. That was Ebert. Oh. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. That's it. He I saw said, it. too. I've talked. I've actually communicated with Roger Ebert uh, several times. Since then? Not since then, he's dead, but oh. before, before, <laughs> just between Ouija the time that Gene Siskel died and Roger Ebert died, I talked to Robert, Ro I communicated by email with Roger Ebert often because I had that story and he was writing some book about his memory, remembrances of Gene. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool, Jerry. Yeah. I don't know if it's in there or not. I don't know if you ever finished it. Hmm. I met Julia Child. I met a lot of people. 
<laughs> Julia Child was an interesting person. Mm-hmm. She, she, was, uh, she was on my five. Yeah, well, yeah, and right. she also worked for Bletchley Park as a code breaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of she made it. meeting a celebrity, you got a code breakers synchro to the. To, I met Drew Carey at downtown uh, of course Cleveland. You did you uh, live in Cleveland? Uh, no, wait, here's the synchro. He uh, fucking uh, host Price is Right. Yeah. We heard this. We heard this story before. He hosts okay. Price is Right. We were talking about Bob Barker. It's yes. all, it's all yeah. synchros are all happening. <laughs> That's cool. getting, that was kind of why Drew. I thought that was why Drew Carey got brought up because we were talking mm. about prices. I brought it up because I thought about him being skinny. I saw the picture right before. Yeah. Like, well, I met. Yeah, I met him when he was fat in uh, downtown Cleveland. And I had fun. him sign my skateboard. <laughs> God, Sandra Bullock looks did like a shake skeleton. His, Oh yeah, he was super yeah, cool. He hung, oh. he, he, we, he hung out for like I don't know five minutes or so. He was, he was a jarhead. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty cool, dude. A skateboard a signed jarhead? by Drew Carey is probably the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy, dude? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we, were, got just, this we were just deck. skating down downtown, and he was walking. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I just was riding by him, and I stopped. And do you still have that? Was, James? Like, there was still three got of deck? us. No, I don't. Yo, Drew. Yo, uh, Drew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like holy shit, Drew Carey. He's like, "What's up, guys?" And then it was it. Yeah, it was just we just bullshit and just hanging out, and it was a nice sunny day. I remember that plane. Th- things that don't go together. It's like a frozen dinner plate, uh, you yeah. know, signed by Doctor Ruth or something. Yeah, I, I think he was Dr. actually Ruth. liked that kind of guy back. He back. was super laid back. He's yeah. a cool dude, man. He he'll he'll talk to you for sure. Dude, from what I've he, from what he I've never heard. moved to Hollywood. Yeah, no, Drew, yeah, he doesn't yeah, have that. Drew Carey's kinda... like the nicest guy, and in, in, he's the nicest he guy. Super from, cool. Show up at party. Bill Murray. Oh, Bill Murray is just amazing. Bill Murray will show up at your party and crash it. I wonder if Drew Carey and Bill Murray ever hang out. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> let's take a second hours. and uh, let, let's welcome Suzanne to the show <laughs> to break <laughs> oh, up the sausage that. party. Hey, welcome Suzanne. to 99. How many pairs of clothes do you have on? Upside How? down 66. Only yeah. one this now, Jer. Only one pair of glasses upside down I 66. Know. We got the threes <laughs> going. This is beautiful. Congrats on the 99 episode. I can't oh, believe thanks. it. That's so you've been, crazy. You've been here yeah. since episode one, Suzanne. You no know. doubt. I've been with us yeah. from the beginning. So uh, I. Oh, Jer, of course. Come Jer? On. I mean, that's, yeah, of course. Yeah. You, can, you guys have been with me too since mine. Yes, we I have. I know. Yeah. It all. Man, I did the theme song. 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 Felix what? started the whole goddamn thing. Yeah. You're not going to start karaoke. A new no, show. no <laughs> way. Man, no, me and Nish. Nish and I. No, you guys going to start either. doing a karaoke jam? Oh, man. No. You can call it jerry is it, is it something? No. Like <laughs> what, what happened to... It doesn't have anything to do with uh, the obelisk, Jer? That, that project but that was going to happen? Name. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but we've we've come up with a format. Nice. It's gonna be cool. Cool. And it's gonna have a, it's gonna be kind of a Q and A show. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's gonna be pretty sweet. Yeah. Call it karaoke. Karaoke. Q and A. Oh, it was Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock was the one that liked penis facials. Dude, that's homophobic. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Sandra Bullock's like. What are you, you were just talking about Sandra Bullock. Nothing I can say would be appropriate right now. Please say something. Oh, yeah, I mean, the screws a mistake. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that movie. She, uh, that that that. As long uh, as you don't make this sign on the camera. <gasps> yeah, don't do it. Okay. How dare you? Don't do that in Brazil. <laughs> oh, because it see, doesn't mean white power, and it doesn't mean okay. <laughs> did you see Stephen Fry publish the picture of him going like this? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. got instantly, like backlashed. You're not a nice person. Nobody <laughs> is. I bet he'd come on my show. Stephen yeah. Fry? Yeah. Oh, I Stephen Fry would totally come on your show. I know he would if I could contact him. I'm going to tweet to him. Do it, dude. That's how Grimerica gets all their uh, guests. Darren just tweets Darren's at people all day. And then they, 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 they cave yeah. and just join us. It's oh, awesome. It was a tweet. Okay, it was a tweet. <laughs> I have to. I have to wonder if that whole thing with uh, um, with that other guest that I'm not going that I'm not going to mention right now. If if that whole thing started with just a stream of endless tweets, and finally that person said, "Holy fuck! Okay, whatever, I'll do it." Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we don't know. But we don't know. Hmm. Oh. Query How many like tweets? That? This How very, many tweets did he send? Yeah. This is very suspect. He's got one tweet. Two. 
I'm I'm trying. It's it's. I'm screen capping it. That's why I'm so babbling. Um, what are we talking about? This tweet that I was talking about with Stephen Fry. See, uh, right where he's giving like this okay. Oh, he's sign. giving the okay sign. Are you a okay? <laughs> if you click on it, it, says you you are not authorized to see this status. Oh. <gasps> You're black from Stephen Fry. God damn it, Jerry. I've never talked to the dude. Why is he blocking me already? Like, no, you never knew dude, what'd you gonna... do to piss off Stephen Fry? Cock blocked by Stephen Fry. Do? What's Stephen Fry do? He's... Is he a po- political analyst or something? No, he was. Uh, he's a comedian, and he had a thing with... Uh, with Hugh Laurie, right? Uh, a bit of... With Hugh Laurie, yeah. yeah. Was that the, uh, the house doctor? Yeah, yeah, house. He was, he was yeah. house. Yeah, he had a he had a thing. What was it? Uh, it was a, a bit of Fry and Laurie or yep. something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Br- it's a British British yeah. sketch show. Hey, will you guys go to this guy's page and see if how much you can pay me? <laughs> you might <laughs> you might have it on lockdown, so like only yeah. verified followers can see it or whatever. Oh, one of that. those guys. Uh, like really self. It'd be geotag. Maybe he doesn't like people in Georgia. Well, then I wouldn't be able to. Help. And he never reads his DMs. He's afraid. <laughs> <laughs> he must have let Ray we Charles have know. We have Jacob, you're in, you're in Georgia? We have people that don't yeah. have it. We have people that are morally corrupt. We have people that are selling this country down the drain. <laughs> okay. it's the evil. For how much? For how much? <laughs> For how much? Maybe like, I don't know. $8,737,540,000. <laughs> <laughs> He needs the one that those says, are rookie numbers in this racket. I myself, I jerk off at least twice a day. <laughs> is, this the, is this the Stephen Fry you're talking about? Or, or, okay, yeah. That's the I one. think the big problem this country has is being politically correct. <laughs> it's true. Oh, well, Jerry, it looks like he's got you blocked. He's blocked me. Oh man, Jerry's having a crisis right now. <laughs> Stephen Fry is sick of your shit, Jerry. He looks pretty like a pretty jolly guy. I have any contact with the guy, or have I? Maybe. Fry, so many people. It's very possible. You it could have been. Off, Jerry. Yeah, it might have been one of those mornings where you were just trolling people, Jerry, and you might have said the wrong thing. It's very possible. <laughs> the wrong thing. Come on. We should we should Come reach on. out to Stephen Fry. Please unblock Jerry. Yeah. He's a good man. Just tell us what the asshole did. Piss you off <laughs> enough to see this. I mean, you can just open the link in a incog tab and see everything you posted. I know, but I want I want to be on block. Is that handsome apologize. bastard? I want to apologize. Do you see that big? <laughs> Steve, isn't there a way to, to go him? through your tweets? Yeah, that looks just like ones you sent to him. I'm working on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's I'm reverse engineering this right now. We'll figure this out. <laughs> Well, you, you might have to you might have to run some simulations to to see what happened. They're not dumping so much anymore. You notice? I wonder how <laughs> I mean, long I've been blocked. We need that sound bite. Are you, I don't Jerry, know you gonna, if I are, have that. Oh, no, that's Jerry, that's, that's an OBDM exclusive. I it? bet he blocked me for this tweet. <laughs> oh, oh, you can't see this. What'd you say, Jerry? How stupid are these politicians to allow this to happen? <laughs> that's probably yeah, that, why he blocked that that's might be it. why he blocked you <laughs> i don't know what the fuck i was talking about because the two but you, original, you start okay. out calling him a liar yeah. so that's, that's in two, 2010 <laughs> yeah this was eight nine years ago quite sad actually <laughs> quite sad actually oh you're probably <laughs> I'm no, you're you're right. you called him a liar <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. If you put the link to your comment there, then I can probably tell you what it's a. Uh... <laughs> That's great. No, I don't want to know. I feel bad now. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder <laughs> if we can start a stink about Stephen Fry <laughs> online. Uh, let's get him on CWS. You guys can bury the hatchet. Why I would say that. He doesn't like it when you call him a liar, apparently. Yeah. I don't know why I would call I, I might have been joking. Dude, 2010 were weird times, Jer. Who knows what was going on? <laughs> I don't know what was going on. Yeah, that's, that's a long time ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago. There's a lot of stuff that could have been happening. He blocked you in 2010? I don't know. It's the last... Tw- I had a tweet to him, a reply to him. You know, they say if you remember what happened in 2010, you weren't there. <laughs> oh, no, that was that the 60s. Really true. If we all died in 2012. 2010. Mm-hmm. We all died in 2012. That's right. 
That was the year that I have because going backwards. I think that was the year that the Wisconsin Green Bay Packers won the Super Bowl. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> it was really weird. The Green Bay Packers? Green Bay. That was back when you the tweeted West, with the Wisconsin Packers. Green Bay Packers. <laughs> They're in Wisconsin. Uh, uh, here, they got curds on their heads. Get him. Get him. But K-Dog. we don't know. <laughs> K Dog's st- he's going after Stephen Fry right now. Just going to spam oh, liar at him. Leave him alone. <laughs> just leave him alone. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to gang stalk Stephen Fry now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't hold you know, grudges against anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I bet I was being a smart ass. Felix. You? You yeah. got a yeah. job? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, Jerry, was, not you. Comment, but it just comes across as like, wow, what a dick. Yeah, people don't know how to take you. It's all right. Fuck them. No. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm in. I'm in the mood for some music, though. Felix, you got a jam? I think he's psychically wow. attacking me right now. We got some '99 Red Balloons today. <laughs> Get a four chan up there, that guy. Hurry. Oh, Start shit. a post. That's what I can find. Start a thread. Four chan, take me away. Maybe some. Uh... <laughs> Is it squash hunting season yet? <laughs> it's got to be squash hunting season by now. What is that? What's that? <laughs> squash on easy. You can hunt squash. Yeah, so let's get some squash. I'm, I'm afraid of squash. Is it the game, the food, or is this? I don't know. The, I don't know what it all, is. No, all, the, the vegetable. Let's oh, all relax. Yeah. Let's I all thought relax. It was a Aren't let's they just, like all just fall vegetables? But they are fruit. Let's calm down. It depends on the kind of squash. There is savory fruit. Squash. Savory it's fruit. All, it's it's all just relax. Let's all yeah, just Yeah, summer down. squash and you have yeah, Chill squash. out, guys. Let's just, chill. Let's just come on. Let's <laughs> oh just, let's my just all, have you guys let's, ever watched the uh, videos all, of people growing microgreens on YouTube? Microgreens. Like, like, microgreen farms in their basements. No, and but it's it intrigues me. And, and farmers markets in the summer, and they're doing like thousands of dollars per week with, you know, basically eight or ten stacks of, of trays of shit growing in their basement, like a giant grow room. Wow. Yeah, I know somebody did that back in the uh, 10, 15 years ago or something. At, at 15 yeah, a kilowatt hour? <laughs> okay. Yeah, and what's the cost? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, Having clean say, vegetables? Uh, that, the the cost is, is, is good health. It was just interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. There's a lot of urban farming solution mm-hmm. channels, I should say. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were doing like sprouts, like clover sprouts and alfalfa <laughs> sprouts, and yeah, and like farming, micro, yeah. micro kale. <laughs> I forget all the shit they had, but it was like interesting things that restaurants could say it's locally grown, even though it's really not. You know, mm. <laughs> but it is technically technically hyper yeah. hyper local. Yeah, it Jerry, depends. you did a little micro growing of your own. Uh, I was in a past life. <laughs> you know that was four years ago. Are you are you, are you a are you, are you a micro grower or micro shower? <laughs> micro grower. <laughs> micro grower. Micro shower. Who's bitching about the music? Go, yeah, what do you got music? for us this week? Oh, oh we're doing a jam. Music, 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 music. <laughs> <laughs> music. <laughs> like between of us there's like there's like four brain cells left this is and, ridiculous and they're banging into each other in the dark trying to find something to- i don't even know how this is still a show and i love it <laughs> I, do, I, I just want to take a second and appreciate everybody who actually listens to this thing no doubt because I, yeah. I just, it boggles my mind <laughs> but we don't know connoisseurs yeah. of the mongolian clusterfuck that's exactly it <laughs> and it only makes common sense <laughs> 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 We're listening to a child's piano. It's beautiful. Yeah, he's this got is maybe one of my favorites. Awesome. This is maybe one of my favorites. What I say is what I say. <laughs> I thought we were on hold. What other kind of show is that? What is this? <laughs> it's an it's... awesome show. Uh, Talam, you're perfect. Thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah thanks. To, yeah, thanks awesome everybody, everybody. Man, this is thanks, awesome. Tom. It's been a ride, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. I ride. don't know if we'll ever get to 100. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. Be- <laughs> yeah. so, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to record 
record the 100 show. We're going to put it on a on a platinum album. Oh, wow. we could send it to space. And we're going to launch it into space. I like yeah. that. Nice. Uh, yeah, we could steal Grimerica's GoFundMe <laughs> thing to uh, send. Oh, they, their send gasa, them. their gasa campaign. The gasa, that just yeah, never went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about some things. We'll have out. to make sure yeah. the aliens. Yeah, it's, it'll hit the firmament. <laughs> the firmament. Permanent. <laughs> That'll actually. <laughs> That'll probably help prevent the alien invasion because they'll be like, oh, there's no intelligent life. on No shit, right? (laughs) Aliens live in the hollow earth and they're coming out. They're already here. We're fucked. (laughs) So they already know there's no intelligent life. (laughs) That's why they stay away. We could do original song. Do it up, man. Yeah, yeah, let's have it. This song is called uh, the Top Secret GC Love Song. Ooh, oh, shit. What what album is this on? This, I think, is on album volume one. Volume one. Top secret GC oh. love song. I am do, do we have enough clearance to listen to this? I mean, Pops. yeah, you'd be okay. I'd be okay. It's, it's, <laughs> it's past 10 years old now. Stop. There's a lot of little references to kind of my hometown, and me and like two of my other friends wrote it, and it was uh, kind of a drunken night when we were in our. 20s so a lot of just nonsense and none of it really makes sense but if you're from where i'm from it'll make sense to you and then maybe i'll explain it later what it means beautiful okay top secret gc love song it's yeah it's top secret so this whole segment's gonna be mute then it's real all right here we go Jacob, you want to mute down? You did that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Enjoy. 8737540000 dollars check microphone check microphone check please there are so many people here and the noise is in the street and the businessman in a nice suit and a nice tie bends over to pick up his wallet and a bus flies by and splashes him in the face with a puddle. Now isn't that hilarious? Now isn't that hilarious? Home with the bacon wrap filet mignon. This is a shout out to the Silver Fox. This is a shout out to Mr. D. This is a shout out to the Silver Fox to the silver fox in the tips in the tussles they mean nothing they mean nothing this is the story of the onomatopoeia of kenny mitchell at the post office this is a direct reference to Brookwood Elementary. Brookwood Elementary. By the Nippersink Creek, we think of the cherries and the berries in the woods on the vine and we slide into home plains shortcut through the co-op to the hills to the hills to the cemetery hills to the cemetery hills to the cemetery hills the hills the hills the hills
Home of the bacon wrap filet mignon. This is a shout out to the Silver Fox. This is a shout out to Mr. E. Oh, this is a shout out to the Silver Fox. To the Silver Fox. By the nipper creek we think of the cherries and the berries in the woods on the vine and we slide into home plate shortcut through the co-op to the hills to the hills to the cemetery hills to the cemetery hills to the cemetery hills to the cemetery hills Absolutely beautiful, Felix. Absolutely Amazing. beautiful. That was awesome. <laughs> Dude, uh music. Music. This is one of those songs that the, the actual recorded version, it's one of the few songs you have where there's a shitload of electric guitar just shredding electric guitar in it. No, I was yeah, just, that, was my, that was my buddy playing that. Was it? I was wondering, I was like, is that even Felix playing? Because dude, it's it's just like so out of character with all your other songs. Yeah, I can't I can't play electric guitar that good. No, oh, but that's dude, that's I I love that's great. That's a beautiful, beautiful what, why jam. why don't you like the electric guitar? Is it just the does it the strings and everything? Does it feel different? I just don't play good. Like uh there's people that just got it's chops so on the good guitar on and yeah. they just know where to put their fingers. Like I can come up with like riffs, like pretty simple chord stuff, but I can't sure. do I can't do like that feeling and like riffing off things. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a great song, man. Gets shout out to Brookwood Elementary, which has a lot a place in a lot of your songs. Mm -hmm. Brookwood Elementary gets shouts out. The Silver yeah. Fox. The Silver, Silver Fox is our pr our principal in. Uh... Is that who it was? <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> That's he had, awesome. He had silver hair, so they called him the Silver Fox. Oh, that's and great. There's some story about this kid na named Kenny Mitchell, and there's some story about him and an onomatopoeia. And I don't know what it's about, but it happened at the post office. <laughs> and they just threw that line into the song. I don't even know the kid, but he went to like our school. I I, I am uh, deeply entertained by the idea that someone did an onomatopoeia event at, at a post office and that it was memorialized in song. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, there's a there's a shortcut through the shortcut through the co-op. The co-op to the hills. The hills was like a, a little place where these people made some bicycle jumps in the woods. Oh, yeah. And we had a restaurant called Home Plate that we went to during um, like lunch during school. And it was just oh, like dude, a, small, small Midwest towns are the best. <laughs> oh, what, man. What I part love of the it. world is this yeah. in? Just out of curiosity. It's southeastern Wisconsin. Oh, OK, because we, we had a hills that was the bicycle area where you used to go and do jumps and hop. Hell, yeah. The hills. <laughs> I could see James Cruz spending a lot of time on the hills breaking Little bones. Oh uh, yeah, in the in the tra the trailer park where I grew up, man, we had a crazy setup there with the with the bikes and shit. And then then I got really into skateboarding. And we started building everything, but the whole uh, dirt jumping and shit. Oh my god, I spent the whole summers doing that. Did you know that like razor scooters are like the the new thing? I think I read or saw some stuff. <laughs> the, what? Like, kids doing like tricks on razor scooters, and there's, there's uh, yeah, there's, battles between we, like skateboarders and. We razor used to have one in the office. I love that. My my son, he he's, he gets pissed off at the the scooter kids at the skate park. <laughs> no, no, they're the right around for sure. Yeah, there's a rivalry. Yeah, it, and and I I got this. Somebody at, at work, someone had left a uh like a mountain bike and my my oldest son he 
and we still have his bike, but it's really, it's, it's a lot smaller. You know, it's like, it's like your beginner bike, you know, like my, my youngest son rides that. So, so I brought this bike home for, for Grady and it's just, it's kind of almost too big. It, yeah. It's like a, I could ride it easily. You know, it's like a, an adult mountain bike. It's like, but, a, it's uh, like a 10 speed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, it's got a bunch. Yeah. It might be 12. It, it's a crazy dirt, Two? you know, Maybe mountain four? bike. It's awesome, dude. It's like got the, yeah. it's got shocks all over it and shit. It's a nice bike, but, but he hasn't ridden a bike in ages, dude, like three, four years. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I'm like, you know, that old saying, you know, it's like riding a bike, trying to yeah, get him dude, on it and forget. ride that shit. And he's just all like, man, this sucks. He's like, I just want to go ride my board. You know, I'm like, well, dude, you can ride the bike to the skate park and then skate, you know, like it's, I don't know, I'm trying to get his brain working that way. It's like, come on. Man, but there's nothing, the there's nothing like riding the bike in the skate park. Uh, oh, dude, yeah, there's a lot of kids that'll do that. Mm. They they ride their mountain bikes all around there. And Did you guys ever see the the um that smarter every day video of the guy who someone creates like a some mechanism where it's the opposite when you turn a bicycle steering wheel when you if you turn it to the left it'll turn right. Oh, and weird. The, and oh. the guy teaches himself how to ride it, and then afterwards, after he learns how to ride with the opposite bicycle, he, he has to go back to the regular bicycle, and his brain oh. is just like broken can't he has to remember how to ride it the regular way any motorcycle riders in here uh no. I've, I've no i mean i've ridden them i can ride I, yeah like a long time ago it's been a long, not anymore there's no way I'll, i had I'll, a yamaha 250 yeah. trials that's that awesome. screwed me up more than anything else ever was counter steering where you push on the where you push on the side yeah. the half bar that you want to turn in that screwed mm-hmm. It, it's, it takes a minute to get used to. Like yeah, when I was a kid, we had the dirt bikes and shit. We like we yeah, it was like the same thing. And it just oh my god, I've wrecked a few of them. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I've wrecked everything. I've tried yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> like, the go kart, the yeah, the dirt bikes, the every fucking thing. Yeah. So far, I've crashed every vehicle that I've been in control of. Yeah, which makes me ultra ultra cautious about learning to fly. Oh man, <laughs> I, I've never crashed my car. You've never been in an accident? Knock on one of your wood oh, balls, dude. Oh, this shit. this one time, I was delivering pizzas, <laughs> and uh, uh, there was like, I was, it was at an Aurelio's. I don't know if you guys have Aurelio's but around I, there. I, I've tapped people before, but I've not like been in a crash. Oh, yeah, fuck, I've never romantic exploits aside. Oh, like a five Man. mile hour tap, you know, or bump, you know, bent, bent. I don't know. I get it. I, I actually know Aurelio's house. Accident. There, actually, I crashed my car twice when I was delivering pizzas at Aurelio's. The first time was I went through this fence. It was like behind, uh, behind like this whole strip mall or something, and I was like dodging this pothole and. I don't even know what state of mind I was in, but I ended up just like getting sucked in through a fence. <laughs> then my radiator got pushed in. And another time I had this 16 year old girl fucking sideswipe me and it was a fucking mess. And so then she took off. So I was like, what the fuck? And I, and I had like, I had fucking shit on me. So I was like, I'm not going to call the cops right now. And I, and I still have a pizza I have to deliver. So like I had a smashed in door and I delivered the pizza and then I went back to Aurelio's and I was like, oh shit. I was like, I should probably call the cops. And so then I finally called them and they're like, oh yeah, you know, there was an accident reported over here. So I was like, oh, I'll go meet up with them, whatever. And then they fucking put me in cuffs because I failed to report the thing. God. So it's like, boom, right there. Like, like I pulled up there and I was like, hey. I was like, yeah, I was like, is it the accident happened with me? I'm like, she took off. And they're like, no, they're like, you're the one that drove off. And I was like, this isn't even where the accident happened. It was like four, mo- it was such a shit show. And they had oh my crazy God. witnesses. Dude. Say, so, so you yeah, should have said you're distressed out. And then you had to go to, cause you were at work and you didn't know what to uh, do. Dude, they didn't even care. They didn't even care, dude. The, the cop, uh, he arrested me on the spot. I had my money bag from Aurelio's and shit. It took me well, like, it took me like two hours to get bailed out. It was a fucking joke. <sighs> Wow! Yeah. Did, did it cost like eight billion seven hundred thirty-seven <laughs> million five hundred? Did you have to call into work? Did you have to call into work? No, I actually, actually, I it happened at like six thirty. I ended up getting bailed out around eight thirty or nine because I, uh, I could, like, I, I didn't even my my phone literally died too, so I didn't even have a phone oh, to like call. Like, dude, it was crazy and like, it was it was a mess. But I ended up getting bailed out, and then I had to run over there, and I was like, yeah. They're like, yeah, we were trying to call you. Your phone was off. I was like, yeah, I was in the holding cell. <laughs> like it was, it was, it was, it was a joke, man. 
And the yeah. Mexican government is much smarter, <laughs> much sharper, much more cunning. And they send the bad ones over because they don't want to pay for them. They don't want to take care of them. Why should they when the stupid leaders of the United States will do it for them? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. This wow. Man. Well, how, much, how much do you think they cost? You know, just because the elephant is in the room, nine million two hundred and forty <laughs> million dollars. I don't think it costs that much, Donald. <laughs> don't believe the five point six. <laughs> but we don't know. <laughs> I wanted him to make an argument for me. Don't you have one where he's like, "No, it really does." Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. I do. I can argue with you. Dude, but, but, <laughs> hey, but think about it, guys. We have potential war coming up with Iran, potential war with Venezuela. Like, it's it's a great time to be alive. You know, we got that war machine turning right. hard. Got trade wars it. with China. Oh, yeah, trade wars with I China. I love China. I love China. <laughs> 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 Perfect. I, I we don't, don't win anymore. Be any war. Oh, Jer, I think it's coming. Uh, I think I Trump know. lost. I, I, I have this this stinking feeling that he's lost all control and Bolton's calling all the shots and he, he's just a scumbag neocon piece of shit. Didn't you hear? Uh, I'm kind of with Jerry. I don't think it's going to actually go to war. I mean, I, I hope think. it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. But, dude, they put, they're, they're sailing this giant aircraft carrier by, like, off the coast of Iran, the Abraham Lincoln. Like, it's like 22 asking, ships. Dude, they're asking they've, for it. They've been doing hit. that for a long time. No, they've been doing asking. that for a long, long, long yes, time. Yes, yes. It, but it's a setup for a false flag. I'm telling you. False flags no, coming. No, they've no. been doing it. They, they've been doing it forever. They've been, dude. they've been doing it since, since 19. Blah, 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 blah. And they can pull the China. shit out of Iraq. So Iraq's not going to provoke this nasty battleship. Not Iraq, so, Iran. 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 It doesn't matter. It, Either way. Nobody, yeah, unless they're going up against China, these people are going to back down and do what we say. And it's just uh, it's bullying. China. But, but I, don't, know. I don't know what the circumstances are that Iran is pissed off. I think it's distraction. Because we're saying we, we put a bunch of sanctions back on them. And Cultural. it's fucked up. Um, every- Iraq never fucking it's tried cool. to tell us. Like, there was nothing they could do. We what, bombed Iraq? them. No, yeah, we, we just went in. Anything. But we but just, like, there's nothing way? Iran will. I mean, what are you saying that Iran is going to try to do that we're telling them to do? Iraq tried to. No, tried Trump, to per- Trump is doing a mafia tactic, it's protection money. He's 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 bringing the hassle down on Iran for whatever they're being uppity about. Part of the reason I'm here is that I know how to take a joke. <laughs> so we'll take every country, and if you don't pay up, we we fucking invade. Well, they've been wanting to get rid of the Ayatollah since what sixties. Yeah, it's it's so, it's like, going to happen at some time. That's I mean, different. But anyway, you should have heard Trump the other day talking about Bolton, and he's like, "Yeah, Bolton's a little bit, you know." What did he say? I forget the word he said or hawkish or whatever, but he's like, I, we're not going that way. We're not doing that. I keep, I keep him balanced. He keeps me balanced. You know? I we really do. Well, since I, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll give him the benefit of the doubt since he hasn't gotten us into a war yet. So I have no precedent for this. So that's cool. You know, as long as he doesn't do anything crazy, but we are putting 120,000 troops in Iraq. So what's he's up with that? His- yeah, who knows? But he's good friends. That's just to keep, if that's just to keep you know like the military industrial complex happy. Mm, kind of, yeah, kind of move the military. Bomb. Fuck the military industrial complex, though. Fuck those guys. Burn it to the that's ground, what, dude. That's like thirty percent of our country. Exactly. That's uh, that's a big giant part of our economy. That's really yeah, disgusting. it only mm-hmm. makes common sense. Just because it's, it is doesn't mean that it's right. It's fucking gross. It makes me well, I definitely agree. It's mantled slowly and every year it just grows. So uh, extrapolate. They don't even know how much it costs because every time they try to do an audit on the military, <clears> it <throat> fails spectacularly. No, they can't Poor do the it. We should, we, should boycott we, our, we should boycott our 100th episode, not do it. As anti- no, no, just no, skip no. it. Go to one hundred and one. You really need to think about uh, the, the idea that the government agencies, are, the, like the DoD or whatever, are running illegal operations on the side to make black money. Bro, well, yeah. Well, I mean, that's yeah. the whole opium fields and poppy fields in Afghanistan. Like they're selling all that heroin. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. I, mean, I wonder how widespread that is. Uh, I mean, yeah. It doesn't even necessarily have to be to the U.S. population. It's worldwide. Like they're just, mm-hmm. you know. 
just selling it everywhere. It's crazy. And That's it's, what Vietnam was about, too. Yeah. I thought that was about the spider entities from Eighth Dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you, Jay. You know, I'm glad you're bringing it back into reality. had the <laughs> heroin, so. <laughs> they secreted it from you the see, You saw them once you did the heroin. <laughs> so they probably were really fighting it. Their thorax <laughs> will open up, <laughs> but, but we don't know. Or when you put on the red drugs. night vision goggles. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. I mean, all the defoliation <laughs> probably made it look like those poor branches. So if, if poor Mark Richards wasn't still in jail, we'd know the whole story. Oh, we wouldn't know the whole story, wouldn't mm-hmm. we? But he can't talk about it. I love when these idiots. Oh, I can't talk about that. You know that, like he's some kind of uh, intelligence agent who has right. classified information that he can't disclose to you. This, these are people talking about. Uh, it's what are they going to do? Are in jail? Uh, <laughs> you know, the whole, the and the whole, you know, the whole alien, the people who, the people who consort with the aliens. Put that right. Out. The Galactic Federation. Yes. Alien consort. Well, they're doing something. I mean, this guy, this one dude was a Kent on talking about it. How oh, I'm so tired, I just got off the ship. <laughs> Dude, if you were in prison, wouldn't you fucking make some fantasy world up? If you knew you were going to be in prison for all <laughs> You would totally <laughs> have a different life. life. just got yeah, off the ship. <laughs> it was such a rough ride. At some point, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know. It would I boring. would. I would totally live in fantasy land. Well, we don't know. It would get boring. You know that. Has become a dumping ground for <laughs> everybody else's shit. Problems. Come in to visit you. What? <laughs> now, when you have some chick come in to visit you, Tulsi what's the problem with that? What? Carrie Tul- Cassidy, Tulsi Gabbard, twenty twenty. Just throwing oh, that out there. We're not I'm <laughs> talking about Mark. Richard. We moved on. <laughs> Tiffany, I was, I was talking about that. <laughs> Tiffany, that um, but yes, the galactic people. <laughs> Oh, the Kent guy. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Michelle. Yeah, what, what is that show? Quantum called? Shift. Yes, Quantum Shift. There you go. See ya. We keep forgetting <laughs> to get, I keep forgetting to invite Kent Dunn onto the show. We should get him on a shit show and just have him no, teach us. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> teach me how to space travel. I just want to know. If, First, you know, you know need like a few loaves of bread. If that's his reality, and it could very well be true. You know, that's what his dreamscape is like. Yeah. Then more power to him. Mm-hmm. But to, to talk about it like it's everyone's reality and you're wrong or a dumbass if you don't believe it, that's kind of. Yeah, that's not cool. It's like funny. calling somebody a neo Nazi who doesn't agree with your research. How about calling someone outright uh, white supremacist for going, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Where do we live? I don't know, but what, what you, is this world? You could go back to an old episode. C one thirty seven. I'm telling you. You, you go back to. Go, go ahead. You can go back to an old episode of Malcolm in the Middle where they play that game, the circle game, where they drop. Yeah. They're all dropping the OK sign and punching each other in the arm. Because that's where that evolved from. It's a circle no game. Doubt. It was no doubt. Th- yeah. Scuba diving. Yeah. Well, I, game, I, I, yeah. Well, the but, circle game came from uh, sniper training, actually. Oh, did it? It has a deeper yeah. meaning. Yeah, so these, these they, snipers were punching each other in the arm when they'd look at the circle? Is that what's going yeah, on? Yeah, it, it builds your uh, peripheral vision because you, if you break it, you get to punch them. Oh, so that man. you can So that you can, like, see it without looking at it. You right. Know? And, mm. and, yeah, be aiming while you're looking at somewhere else. Yeah, but, dude, it's just hilarious. It's just a 4chan troll that got totally <laughs> taken out of control. Really, they said, hey, let's do this. Yeah. They, so they seeded the machine. They did. These fucking idiots believe it. It was actually, it was actually the quarter, second one. They put a quarter in the slot and it worked. <laughs> what I was going to say was that I realized today that I think what's going on is that the people who are making these decisions to, to do <laughs> these, these crazy, things, like, 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 um, like banning people, like Blizzard banning people for the OK symbol, right? For right. example. Right. These are people who grew up. Uh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. No. They're they're like a couple. You know, the Latin, the generation behind us, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> and they grew up having safe spaces and not being offended and all that shit. Play dates instead of yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Crap like that. Yeah. So, the, stomp, the stomp out bowling. More importantly, they are people who don't want to. They want to look good to everybody. They don't want to be that person who's bad. It's no, they don't van- want to be that guy. 
So companies are run <laughs> in that fashion as well. Mm-hmm. And that's driving a large part of this now. So all you need is to hear people complaining about you on, on social media and boom, you're going to make a decision. How often do, do companies not listen to that kind of outrage, which yeah. may or may not even Very be true. true or real. Right. Yeah. If there's any controversy, like look at Starbucks. They were like, let mm-hmm. all the homeless people in. Yep. Chick-fil-A like, seems to be doing pretty well still. Yeah, they, yeah. They, aren't they reporting like record numbers right now? Yeah, yeah, they're one of the most like popular businesses in the country area. And it only just, makes common sense. Which mm-hmm. is interesting because as much as I like Chick-fil-A, it's really some boring ass sandwiches. All their food's boring. boring. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it but it tastes good. It yeah, tastes this, good. this conversation exactly. reminds they, me of uh, an onion article that I oh, Jesus. today. Oh Jesus. Find it. Well, there's nothing exciting about it, but they make it fresh for you and everything. So that is exciting these days. Cause well, Chipotle does that. Father's unheard of friend died. What? <laughs> Who? <laughs> the Onion articles. It was on your article today or yesterday. Hmm. Oh, where is it? If you see, if you, those of you who have kids or anything like that, the, the meaning of the, uh, when you see a 99, <laughs> it means uh, parents stopped watching. It's like code, you know, like if they, uh, they're what's texting. a 1099? But 1099 is a tax form. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. 1099, 10 code. Oh, I don't know. What is it? I'm looking drag up. race. Oh, uh, drag race. There's a drag oh. race in, uh, in oh. action. 1099. Geez, I don't 1099 know. 1099 is wanted, stolen, indicated. Told you. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. I, got a 10 I, I said it under my breath. <laughs> 1098 is a jailbreak. What's a drag race? 1094. That's what I mean. Oh, I looked up a bunch of cool look, random 99 stuff. So since we are rocking show number 99 on Grime America FM, because we're the only motherfuckers that run this channel. Well, Adam we runs do. the channel, but we're the only ones that use it. I don't even know if he does anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's whatever. Just... We're streaming on it, man. That's yeah, how that's everyone gets to listen to this shit live. And, uh, Comment in the chats. Feel free. Or if, yeah, if you want to come on the show, hit us up. Uh, what does the number 99 symbolize? It is believed the 99 is a very powerful number. The secret meanings of this number are also wisdom, intelligence, and leadership. So if you see it 99, it means that it is time to use your intelligence, wisdom, in many situations. Yeah. There's also a spiritual aspect to the 99 it's the angel number 99 and uh, it means uh, it is a pretty powerful number is often related to leadership and wisdom (laughs) Hmm. so yeah uh, there was also agent 99 on get smart who was i i must say smoking hot (laughs) yeah yeah and and i've got 99 problems but a vacuous show ain't one Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> I, okay, I it, found that onion article. It's it's oh. the the headline is liberal relieved he never has to introspect again after assembling all the correct opinions. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is perfect. This is so perfect. <laughs> uh, in the uh, let's see the reference to ninety nine in the Bible. It appears in the Gospels of Matthew, Matthew eighteen to fourteen, and Luke. Uh, blah blah blah. It is about a shepherd who leaves his flock of 99 sheep in order to find the one which is lost. I got 99 <laughs> sheep, but the flock ain't one. Hey, flock Maybe ain't that's one. where 99 <laughs> bottles of beer came from. Uh, there, I have that too. Um, well, I got a bunch of shit. Uh, Einstein wow. is... Uh, me. Einsteinium and is a... Uh, is an atomic number. He you're got making, the number ninety nine. You're making yeah. this stuff up. No way. I, when they Einstein. blew off the the nuke, they named the uh, the Ice atomic Tops. number after him. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Ninety nine is a a song by Toto from nineteen seventy nine. Mm-hmm. Nineteen ninety nine bottles of beer. Oh yeah, I linked that. Uh, I linked that song in a tweet earlier. That that ninety nine <laughs> yeah. song by Toto. 99 left balloons and 99 red balloons. Yeah, 99 left balloons. Yeah. I linked that one too. I'm still using this picture. 
from my 99 wow. problems. Oh, the, a, yeah, that's the one that Jay Z uh, in 2004. <clears throat> There's a 99 warehouse, not yeah, <laughs> not too far from me and Jerry. There. What? There's a 99 warehouse in Tucker, Georgia. Hmm. I've never been to Tucker, Georgia. I live about 20 I'm miles from Agent 99, a character played by Barbara Feldon in the yep. Five Television Show. Get smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They got they got 60 man, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm serious. Oh, they Let's got see, twenty dollar prom dresses. There's a lot of Japanese stuff with ninety nine. There's like a show called ninety nine. Yeah, let's hear it. I'm a weeb. I want to hear all about the Japanese well, let's stuff. See. Uh, ninety nine is a card game. Ranch ninety nine. Uh, there's ninety nine chips. Did the uh, movie reunion? Um, chips. That was I used to watch that. Do 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 do. Oh man, that was. A, P- uh, Wait, punch. How did it go? Yeah. Do 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 do. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't remember the whole. <laughs> I just remember them cruising over the bridge on them stupid motorcycles. What show? Chips. Chips. Oh. Yeah, remember, Officer Punch. We had a Chihuahua like years ago at my when, we, when my youngest son was born, mm-hmm. and I and I named him Officer Poncharelli. His name is Poncho, man. He'd come. Pacho. Yeah, he was crazy. Dog. Well, five years ago on Robot Chicken, uh, they would made a uh, Burt Reynolds and uh, Eric Estrada did like Smokey and the Bandit meets Chips on the Gumball Rally kind of oh my show. God. It's really funny. Funny. Oh, and Don DeLuise too was in it. That's was like, Don DeLuise was freaking hilarious. I'm gonna have to look I, that. It was hysterical. I'll, I'll look for it. Um, but yeah, they're all dead now, which I thought was funny. But no, it, it was funny because it, <laughs> they're dead. Don it's Don hilarious. And, it's hilarious because <laughs> Burt Reynolds and Don DeLuise were, were, were making fun of the, how they couldn't pronounce Paunch or Paunch's name. They kept wanting them to call <laughs> Paunch. <laughs> and they went back and forth. Is it Paunch or Paunch? I don't know. And they go, e- e- e. But we don't know. But they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny because they were, I don't know. If you think about it, they're in the studio fucking off making a recording, right? And and they robot chickened it. What they're oh, going to talk. It was it was kind of it sounded like it was ad libbed. You know, like in within the dialogue. You'll hear it. I'll find it. You'll see. <laughs> it's Ra- random shit okay. happening on Cartoon Network. Come on. That show was genius when it started. The ninety nine yeah. is a comic series based on Islamic culture. Oh, <laughs> see, that's weird because there's there's supposed to be 99 names for God. Oh, ah. yeah. uh, one of which one of which is Bar. Hmm. There's only 72 versions. Though. 99 is a common price ending in psychological pricing. 199 opposed to two dollars. Hundred percent. That's a hundred percent. You know what else? Yeah, it's called okay. J.P. Woolworth. Working uh, working in retail, strange things. I could put something out there at for a dollar twenty five, won't sell. Put it out there for four for five, it'll sell like crazy. It's, oh, it's yeah. strange. Dude, that, you put those, uh, yeah, you put I always get hooked on numbers, that. Isn't that man? crazy, dude? Yeah. yeah. People are nuts. Yeah. They're easy to try. Uh, but I only do that if it says you'll save whatever. Ooh, ninety nine slang oh, yeah. for lesbians. Analogy with the sixty nine sex position. <laughs> Oh, it's they 99? 99 is, is that like scissoring? Scissoring's 99? Scissoring. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, exciting. with that? It's toe fucking. <laughs> <laughs> 99, shorthand for night-night <laughs> in SMS language or instant messaging slang. So, so James and Graham, if you, don't call, if you don't call this the toe fucking episode, you have no soul. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. It's been, I don't know. There's been some great titles already. Uh, 99 toes fucking. 99 is 99 backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Uh, unbelievable. I don't know. There's there's a lot of weird shit. 99. Keep seeing the 99. It's the angel number. It's it. Yeah, it's the angel number. It's a message from your guardian angel. They're sending it to you because you need their guidance and support. The sooner you decipher the meaning of the angel 90, number 99, the sooner you can apply this message 
of the angel nine a- angel number. <clears throat> so their explanation is you gotta figure out what it means. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's for you to figure it out. Because you got to use your intelligence and wisdom and, and to figure figure those uh you know, you gotta use your talents and your gifts to get closer to your life goals by uh terminating this number. It could mean anything, but it doesn't. It it's up to you to find yeah. out what it is. <laughs> so I'm thinking for show 100 uh, next week, we'll just do two hours of Mad Libs. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! I would, I would be floored. I would love it, dude. No. You know, you know, I'm all. I would be all about we'll, it. We'll, we'll do a Mad Lib. I want to do one where we hours. can get interactive. We can, eat, uh, like, somehow I can get it. You know, I can put it in the chat, and we can have everybody just going nuts with it. <laughs> yeah, it could be ridiculous. What do you guys think? Let me know. <laughs> Send us an email so we can play the hate mail segment. Yeah, Which, you know, I, I ended the show with that and we didn't get one email for hate no, mail. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Uh, nobody even emails anymore. Nah, dude, Grimstake at gmail.com. To me. All you, you got to say is go fuck email yourself or something. Email 2004. Yeah. I swear to God. Uh, yeah, <laughs> email is like too long for people to, I mean, God, you can't even write your own email address and send it to somebody. It's like, fuck, man. I, oh, I got to write an email. Yeah. Uh, can I just Dude, it? I order my weed by email. Oh, God, <laughs> I order so... my weed by email. <laughs> <laughs> weed mail. And um, then they have to text me to come get it. Or come oh, it. Why don't you just drive to Washington? It's the, it's uh, right there. Oh. I live in California. It's free. Yeah, I mean, it's... Get it. Oh, yeah. all right. All right. I'm Never in California. Then. Mm. Never mind then. Okay. I get it delivered. That's what I'm saying. No, dude, I I'll get it. And then they deliver it. It's, I'm still in like caveman times here, dude, in Indiana. That's just... It's like murder and smoke and pot are on the same <laughs> the same level here. Oh, it's ridiculous. God damn it. Uh, yeah, it's terrible. Although it hasn't deterred me from getting high for the past 17 years of my life for 18 years. Right, that's what I <laughs> so felt like when I was in so the, uh, sure Oregon. Not, it was like... Not that big of a if only oh, man, we move can... a place where it was legal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could go... By, I would just walk into this bodega, these little tiny shops, and just I'll buy a couple of these, a couple of this, a couple of that. And then the ear, and but then there's there's like one level of not being freaked out about it. Yeah, it's so weird because you you did it a million times in a million places. So what's the difference, you know? But yeah. now it's just like this weird, like oh, I could just spark this up, and you just laugh about it. How about Denver yeah. uh, decriminalizing mushrooms? Huh? Yeah, mushrooms. Like yeah, that's crazy. Which I mean, it's not even a big deal because it's like it's if, very you're, random. if you're if yeah. you're gonna eat mushrooms, you're gonna eat them. If you're not, you're not. Like it's not like one of those things where you really had to be worried about the law about it. Like I don't know. I mean, it's cool because like, I think you could probably grow it now and it's fine. Mm-hmm. No, that's the thing is that it's still like you can still get prison time for growing. But it's like it. who's out in public Selling getting public it. intoxes for being on shrooms? Like that's like, <laughs> I don't like that's crazy. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he might, he might, he might go wild. But I don't know, man. I, th- I think it's great. Everybody should be able to trip. Everybody should trip at least once. And it's worth it. It totally is. Absolutely. Hold on to your seatbelt. It's a step in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. Uh, California is not far behind it. I think they tried to vote it onto the ballot last year. And it didn't quite pass. Like, no, who's voting against did. that in California? If we, who knows, dude? There's there's still a lot of stupid fucking people out there. In Oregon and Washington, whether it's legal or not, they grow all over the damn place. So. Well, that's the thing with all, any drug. Whether it's legal, legal or not, you're going to do it anyway if you want to. Like, the law is not going to stop anybody, and that's why the fucking war on drugs is such bullshit. Fucking yep. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I got 99, 99 facts about the human body. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the only part of the body that has no blood supply. What do you think that is? Um, I don't know. Nipples. Skin. The ears. The part Most? that falls off routinely? The hair. The hair. The ears. The pancreas. That we're, we're pancreas. Watching each other with. The pancreas? Eyeballs. Yes. It's it receives wait, oxygen directly from air. What? <laughs> the spanker. Eyes. The, the cornea of your eye it receives oxygen directly from air. No, but it does have blood flow. The only yeah, part no, of the body. Yeah, no, 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 you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the it's cornea, the only part yeah. of the body that does not have uh, blood supply is yeah. the cornea Man. of your eye. The old uh, 
Yeah. The, the brain has a memory capacity which is equivalent to more than four terabytes on one hard drive. <laughs> so, so uh, um, that Keanu Reeves character was just complete bullshit then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how many terabytes would that dude have? Oh, my God. Which one was that? Yeah. Johnny Mnemonic? Five. Johnny Mnemonic? Yeah. That was Johnny Mnemonic? Cool. Yeah. 500 megabytes of storage. <laughs> I should bigger than that first thing in the morning. A newborn <laughs> child can breathe and swallow at the same time for set up to seven months. What? Wow. Yeah. Man, dude, get them on some talent shows. Do some, some crazy shit. Just, yeah. Breathe some, they should and be playing swallow. trumpet. Yeah, they, they should they totally just, be playing they absolutely trumpet. Absolutely should be playing trumpet. Uh, Put a trumpet in your kid's hand like, at birth, and you'll have a, a Kenny G on your hands. Get out of here. <laughs> blow your skull be, blow your skull up. It has twenty nine different bones in it. I gotta say that's a strike against evolution too. <laughs> How are you gonna lose that ability as you get older? Like you know. Yeah. Well, they don't they say that like all babies can swim at birth too. Like if you just chuck right. a baby yeah, in a yeah, lake, they'll be yeah. good to go. <laughs> I know I could swim uh, before I could walk. So. Oh my god! An average body contains enough sulfur to kill all the fleas on an average dog. Enough yeah. carbon to make nine hundred pencils. Wait, what are you these know, facts for? Are you just listing random facts right now, James? What's it's, happening it's right 99 now? Fa- 99 quick facts. 99, man, because it's show 99. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to spit out all 99, but I'm just going with the flow here. Okay. <laughs> I lost track of the show, show for a second. So I didn't quite, hook, I didn't quite know where we were at. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the human heart pumps 180 t- 100, 182 million. That's crazy. 182 million liters of blood during the average life. <laughs> but we don't know. Um, yeah. So I'm going to point out. I'm going to point know. out that, that Lennox Reverb is telling is, is telling us in the uh, is telling us in the chat that uh, that by being thrown into the water is pretty much how he learned how to swim, which is also oh, that's, yeah, sink or swim, dude. That that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. My my grandfather rode me out into the middle of a lake and he threw me in you the in. water and it and that's how I learned to <laughs> swim and it was oh, she, out, it, right? yeah it was pretty easy after <laughs> so I got true. out of the handcuffs it was great <laughs> <laughs> so true I was you would get so nervous and like oh you could go in the water but then to go in the deep end you know like my dad would just sink or swim boom and same thing like what a dick but it, it taught, I mean I I learned how to uh, tread water pretty quick. Oh yeah. yeah, I could I could swim before I could walk or talk. So like, oh wow, I don't remember what it's like not to be able to swim because but you know I was born in March and by like June or July I was swimming. So. Well, April showers and all. When you blush, yeah. your stomach turns red. Also, huh? Oh, for real? Yeah, man. <laughs> but we don't know. But we, yeah, average average person forgets ninety percent of their dreams. That's totally true. Uh, dude, and that's pretty, yeah. and actually, seventy one percent of all statistics are made up on the spot. Oh, listen here. to this guy. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Mister That Guy. <laughs> made up right on the it's spot. It's the ether. It is. The that's ether. how I do this show. I just go make it up right on the spot, dude. Oh yeah, dude. You're the only part of the human body which which cannot heal themselves. Nails. Yeah. When a, on average, a person needs several minutes to fall, seven minutes to fall asleep. On oh, average? Yeah, that's average. Yeah. I was right about oh, the average. nails. The nails? I don't know about nails. I haven't found that one yet. Uh, you, you lose 80% of your heat from your head. So... That's, maybe that's why I'm uh, like, yeah, I just, well, which, I'm wearing a hat. It keeps my which head warm. Head? Oh, which head? Which head? <laughs> yes, of course. So how much of that is through breath? And how Ooh. much of that is just through radiation through your scalp? I don't know, but total weight of human bacteria and, and, and or total weight of bacteria in the body is two kilograms. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of like germs yeah, and shit, dude. <laughs> like five pounds. Yeah. So if I could not like, all bacteria I could lose five in pounds. your body is bad. Yeah, that most is true. of the bacteria. Oh. Okay. You couldn't live without bacteria in your body. Yeah, you have to have bacteria. Symbiotic. Yeah, a person. A, a person passes on two hundred seventy-eight different I types of bacteria. I don't know a lot about that old man. I don't know a lot about. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They, no, it just it was just yeah. They, you pass on like almost three hundred types of bacteria to another person when you kiss them. Fortunately, ninety five percent of them are not harmful. 
<laughs> just the ones that, that leave you with something, right? <laughs> yeah. Whenever oh. we hit dream time, let's let's go hang out, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Whenever oh we hit dream God. time, let's go hang out, man. We used to want to d- hang out in dream time, man. Okay, or this, or oh, that's one. right. <laughs> we, yeah, this huge commune. We can only have tiny houses. <laughs> we can all have tiny houses. <laughs> Wow, I don't know a lot about that whole vampire stuff. Like, I mean, I know it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's but the ether. Know. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. I need beautiful. to get. I need to cut some grim clips too. We can do that. Like, we'll just get them all cut. And those are beautiful because yeah. Felix made those clips with reverb on them. <laughs> they got a nice yep. echo. To them. Gr- amazing. Thanks, Felix. <laughs> oh. You can lose 150 calories per hour if you hit your head against the wall. Oh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> you probably lose more than that if you hit it hard enough. <laughs> Women blink about two times, two two times less often should. than the men. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, wow. A passionate kiss can cause chemical reactions in the brain that skydiving and firing a gun do. Man, go make out. You feel really good, don't you? What if you're making out while My skydiving okay. and shooting a gun? Oh, damn. That would be like the ultimate. <laughs> hmm. Figure nails grow about four times faster than your toenails, Felix. That sounds about right. Yeah. All right. I'm done with this list. I'm going to find something else to talk about. Uh, Does anything grow 99 times faster than something else? Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, oh, man. Come on. This thing's my computer's running slow. Just doing a show on the fly on Gramerica FM. What's up, everybody out there? Call in. I'll give you the number. <laughs> call in. I'll give, what are you talking about? We uh, gotta call in the show. We need a phone line, don't we? No, we don't, yeah, man. We can add some more fuck? people. That, There's yeah. seven people on this the phone show. Line we do not the need show a phone line. Right right yeah. Oh, right in the yeah, Zoom you room. Can't call yeah, in the I got it right here. Who wants to come on 99? You don't want to be on 100. You want to be on 99. Show 100 next week. It's all happening. 100 is be nuts. (laughs) Oh, man. Vampire facials. How about those things? Vampire facials? Do they really work? Hmm. Unless you get AIDS. Oof. Oh, Jerry just put a call in number. Let's see if it works. You got a call in number? Hey, who wants to come in, man? Jerry just posted one. So who knows? That would be one tap mobile. We'll see. Yeah, let's take a call. We'll see. We'll yeah, see if caller, you're on the air. Put your first thing time, on. long time. The way first you time, long time. I'll just put Hate the show. On my voice. Hate what the show. Dr. Laura? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we could do like a doctor. Uh... I found that video, by the way. Oh, shit. Which video, Jer? Robot Chicken. With, uh... <laughs> I remember why they were making fun of him because he was headless punch. Did they let you set the meeting yeah. ID? It was it was a, a spoof of um, Cannonball Run, <laughs> okay. with like Batman Speed Racer. <laughs> That's why you were laughing because you were watching that. Because <laughs> I, I remembered, I they're making fun of him. <laughs> they they got to watch it. It's funny. <laughs> Make sure you're buzzed. I'm gonna do it. Mario, Mario. Oh, it was Robot Chicken. Okay. Seth Green came up earlier in regards to the... Dead air. Oh, God, dead air. Dead air. No, no, we don't want dead air. In regards to the ice You can get racer. Holy crap. It's like like the holy grail. I have a wonderful family. And Vin Diesel. And the Ghostbusters. (laughs) <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh my god, Night Rider! It's really funny. Oh my god, dude! They got like everybody. Where's my volume? <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, <laughs> racer, he's my favorite. Oh man, Speed Racer was awesome. He is my favorite. Number five. I that is actually why I love it. When GI Joe's going by. I like the fact that it was a Japanese anime cartoon that they just made up the mm-hmm. platform. They just made I, up. <laughs> Dude, I was a huge fan of Ultraman when I was a kid. Oh, Ultraman was great. 
The live action is just beautiful. It's just, it's just all that, all that shit's just so beautiful. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Batman. If you guys would call in, you could come and hang out and watch this stupid show with us. <laughs> I thought oh we were my gosh! Oh, oh, gosh. Going on. oh uh, man! Got some uh, uh, strange room in the in, <laughs> in the general league. <laughs> Fun time. What happened? I missed it. This is what oh, we do. God. Oh, it was like uh, the Dukes of Hazard and what was it, Bo? <laughs> what is it? Oh His man! Hand on the other one's leg. I'm gonna, I'm gonna this, put... is, this this totally this totally works <laughs> on an Roscoe audio. Roscoe P. Only. Coulter. <laughs> oh my God, Roscoe. Where's Boss Hog? Oh, while well, this is happening, I'll play. Uh, I'll play. What a was classic. his dog's name? I'll play one of those <laughs> classic Cruiser with Steak jingles that we have. True. Oh my god. Which what one? the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't remember a dog. Which which Roscoe one? Pico trains dog. A dog, yeah. Digger. Oh that's right. Bloodhound. He had the bloodhound. Let's I thought it was Boss a... Hog's dog. Oh Jesus. Uh, oh, it's a I just want to show you the headless paunch part. That's where he loses his head. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the podcast where people who are listening listen to people laugh at random shit that they can't see. That's right. I need to stay. Technology says. Maybe you can teach me how to Jerry. To know how to buy. Laughing at random shit with steak. Teach me how to I need to. All these toys, dude. All these epic toys. <laughs> Who is it? Is it Jerry? Are you are you sending this? Yeah, yeah, yeah Jerry's sharing this. Dude, I have to find this. Hey, put the uh, is that Doctor Phil, Dom DeLuise, and Burt Reynolds, <laughs> but headless punch. They can't decide what's called. Oh my god! Basket from Omaha State. Awesome. Oh, Ote, Ote. <laughs> All right, we'll play. That's it from Omaha State. Oh, fucking rails, dude. $50. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my fucking sound works. Your sound Diesel works fuck, it. James? <laughs> Holy crap. James, if your soundboard's <laughs> fucked, we might have to cancel the show. Sure. I, d- just give me a minute. I know. I'm like, I'm. Oh my God, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher in this? Yeah. Man, yeah, it's really funny. And Bert's in it. I'm going to play another yeah. oh my God, Bert's over in it. all this talking. And then Eric Estrada. Oh, oh, share a memory. Oh, wait, wait. You want you want to share a memory? I do. Yeah. We, we, everyone can. Right. We, with, yeah. Everyone's right, got a memory. Sure. Where's mm-hmm. where's sure remember? Oh god, dude, why am I so unorganized? I'm just That's such, such a, a great jam. I'm such too. a horrible fucking. There we go. Share a memory that's unique to you. A memory worth retelling. And don't be afraid of being judged. Cause cruising with steak is a designated safe space. <laughs> 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 so we got some memories to share guys james I, you uh, seem pretty excited how to share old memory. does it have to I'm, be i'm going around oh, my it could be anywhere i'm circling I mean, the my screen and i'm gonna r- close my eyes and i'm gonna pick it's gonna be a car crash or a concussion of first. Some sort. oh, you're, oh you're, you're just picking people <laughs> All right. yeah i close my eyes and i touch my screen because i could see everyone here all right okay so and i close my eyes and i pick suzanne first so okay 
Share memory. So, all right. So this is a memory. This happened the other day, a couple of days ago. Just short term memory. Like and, yeah, we only and, we only rem- uh, we lose ninety percent of it, so <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> so, uh, and it's proving that I'm getting more psychic, or I'm just getting more paranoid. I, I don't know which one. But I was driving out in the country, and I was coming up to like the freeway. It was coming up pretty soon, and I kept thinking, "What if there's like a one of those, uh, you know, uh, DUI stops up there?" And I don't know my driver's oh, license because oh, Jack God. and I are going to yeah, get our yeah, driver's yeah. licenses on oh, Friday. Shit. Yeah. And so it's like coming to my mind more and more. And I'm like, what if there's a bunch of cops up there, like a DUI thing or whatever, you know, just stop. And I was like, ah, don't think that Suzanne, you know, you're going to bring it to you. I get up there. There's fucking four cops with their lights on. They pulled somebody over. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Googly. <laughs> Googly moogly. Oh my so God. Anyway. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it wasn't I mean, like I know one or two. It was beat, four. Yeah, your heart starts beating like crazy. You're like, oh fuck, man. You probably I, saw the you probably saw the dude. cherries, cherries and berries like reflecting off the sky. I it was daytime. I didn't, it was too far up, I couldn't see the lights. But just so. like subconsciously you saw it. <laughs> oh, okay. Probably. I think I think I'm just worried my luck's gonna run out. Oh it's like the it's like the goat. <laughs> Yeah, the goat. Man. And then the you goat. start was, worrying about it, it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna lose it. I know. That's why mm-hmm. well, and because we just talked about all right, we're gonna go on Friday, so that's like been on my mind and then I've been driving more because I hadn't really been driving that much. Got your mind anyway. on your money. Your money on your money. <laughs> 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 all right, so that was my memory. Wow. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> close my eyes and I'm gonna pick I'm gonna block you off with my hand. It's that guy. Uh, that guy. You have to share a memory. That guy. So I sometimes go back and listen to old episodes. And when I do this of CWS, yes. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The it's ones I, I pick, I pick ones that I'm not in, which okay. are most of them. So uh, I go back. There's a lot of them. There's ninety. There's ninety nine of them. Can you believe that shit? Six oh billion two hundred and twenty seven <laughs> million. <laughs> we, we didn't ask you for a confession. That's no. So, yeah. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. So. So that dog really enjoys listening with listening to cruising with steak. I can't. I can't explain it. She really likes it. But there's certain things that happen. Mostly, uh, mostly when James is talking about drywall, that she really likes, that she really likes to take a crap. <laughs> well, no, 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 not we, we, James, yeah. just James, just James. Yeah. So, so, so we walk, we walk in farmland, we walk in farmland, and she likes to, uh, 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 she likes to walk uh, in the chickpea fields. Mm-hmm. Chickpeas, <laughs> chickpeas. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah, you, got a, you have like a, a like, like a, a like a garden farm type thing, don't you? Well, well, we do, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I've got about five acres, but uh, our neighbors have like eighty or a hundred, that kind of thing. So, so we walk, we walk down the road here, and uh, she she really likes crapping in the chickpeas. And so, if your tastes like dog shit, then you know why. <laughs> 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 oh. Fun fact with a memory. <laughs> there he goes. I'm trying my my shit is all running slow, dude. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, oh the bell. Gay. Yeah, I give you the bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been just stuck on my my Trump board. I, I forgot about all the classics I have too. Oh my gosh! Oh, dudes, yeah. Uh, I can tell you a month ago what I ate to the day. Oh, I got to pick more. Okay, yeah. All right, Felix, you're up. I picked you. So April, this is April 14th. I wrote down here. I was at home. Oh, cool. I had my wife made some homemade breakfast burritos. <laughs> I always forget. The, I used to do that too. All the time. Fajitas. We have. Uh, we had fajitas and breakfast Later that burritos guy. on one day. <laughs> um, 
They have fajitas. My wife went out looking for couches. Mm-hmm. I wrote here that I had a lax day, which means um, relax, relaxing day in slang. And my son, he was playing with these little transformers. And I think he got this from his older cousin. And he was playing with the transformers. And he's only two. And he's going, transform, transform. <laughs> and uh, neighbors across the street had a party. There was uh, some brittle snow that came down. And I was remixing a, a song. Hmm. That's about it. That was one month ago today, folks. <laughs> exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. How about Jake? All right. Jake, you, you, you're next. Well, Suzanne's story kind of reminded me of a story, but mine doesn't have as happy of an ending. But it was actually about a year ago today. Or it was Memorial Day weekend last year. So. Now, they're about now. And uh, I had to go to D.C. And I was driving back home. And in Virginia, like right close to the Virginia-North Carolina border, they had a shutdown. Supposedly, we were doing freeway work on the freeway, right? So you had to get off the freeway and take some other alternate route there. And there was this one where you like come off the freeway and then there's like a sharp turn. And then right after the sharp turn, it goes from 55 to 35 like that. And of course they had about 20 state troopers out there just pulling over everybody that comes by. Oh yeah. So that was, that was my first speeding ticket ever. Oh, dude. When I was, oh, 40, man. Yeah, I was 40 years old, my first speeding ticket mm. ever because of that crap. Gosh, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a good one for the wont, wont, wont. <laughs> <laughs> how much was the ticket? <laughs> yeah, I'll buy you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't like switch bucks. boards that fast. Oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> my my, How, my tablet's ready. Tell me when you're ready and I'll ask it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha, <Yeah>. bitch. was <laughs> 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 oh, like, a $50 ticket, I think. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's not too bad. Not too bad. And at least I wasn't drunk. I'm like, you know, because it was Labor Day weekend or Memorial Day weekend. So I imagine they were getting lots of drunk people. But God, I just thought it was some bullshit. They actually closed down the the freeway to make you drive through speed trail. Yeah, that is bullshit. Fucking speed it's a gypsy tracks. move. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, they uh, there's a there's a stretch of highway here where they just, they hide behind all the the uh, bridges and shit and come flying out or they they'll have one guy just sitting there radar and then yeah the dude just come flying down the sides of the highway pulling you over Rocky River and uh, I ninety in, in west side of Cleveland watch out fucking it they, that's that's their that's for their full time job is just pulling people over it's ridiculous. <clears throat> Uh, good sake, share memory. You're muted, so that's I can't unique to you. Yeah, you remember, you remember that time okay, that Green State uh, right, was you. talking and Mike wasn't on? No, we yeah. almost just sabotaged the show once <laughs> again. The last two times, that's two glad. shows. Uh, I did listen back to that. Oh my god, it was funny. You're yeah, to, dude, you know, I just, I, I, I'm screwing the pooch lately. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but this isn't like a. It's not. I wouldn't say it's a, a specific memory, but it's more like a a memory of a summer where it was. Oh. Uh, I don't know why, but I just think fondly on this where it was. There was one summer where me and my buddy Caleb, when I would get off work delivering pizzas, maybe maybe fifth, fifth, seven, no. I don't know, maybe maybe like 2006. But I'd get off uh, get off work, and then we'd just like roll up a bunch of joints, and then just go walking down these railroad tracks like on a summer night, and it was just fucking just nice shit out, and we'd just have a great time, just fucking making up songs and getting high as fuck, just staring at yeah. the stars. Like it was just it was just I, I think back to times like that when shit didn't matter, 
You just go out and just fucking enjoy things. Have no stresses. It's good times. Uh, I have a similar kind of feeling, kind of memory. Is, that, is it? Yeah, that, it's, well, it's that Midwest life, man. <laughs> it really is. It, it's it's a great place to like when you experience that like, like that that finally you get out of the winter you know that winter doldrum oh, dude, you know it's just beautiful and you get it's... outside with your with your friends and yeah, stuff dude, like dude, 60 it's... 70 degrees on the nights yep. like clear skies Here, me, just getting if, fucked up if you're it, over it, in this way this go, time of year yeah. it's amazing time it yeah. let me tell you about my child my childhood memory right Sorry. on uh so i i was kind of thinking two weeks down the line what song i want to play on the show and it's going to be a cover song Mm-hmm. And I was going back to some like '90s uh, kind of grungy, maybe some Ooh, kind of stuff like that. Oh, I dig it! <laughs> and I, um, I think I heard on the radio too recently that uh, Bush, uh, Sixteen Stone, the album's like 25 years old. Can you imagine? I cannot believe that. Wow! Yeah, and they're and they're going on tour with the band Live that sings that one. Uh, oh my god! Oh, crashes. Yeah. And oh. I have a specific memory of like my parents having these friends in a couple cities over. And their names was like Don and Jose and they had kids and there was some kids that lived by them. And I have like a specific memory of having that Bush 16 stone on like tape cassette. And I had the uh, headphones and uh, I remember like walking down the street at this other person's house and there were some other young kids there and we were like passing the headphones around and putting it into like a tape player and sitting in the driveway, listening to it and kind of, it was just a cool album and a cool, uh, Kind of little moment, summertime moment. Dude, summertime awesome. jams. Late nights, sun going down, hanging out with my friends in a different city. It's good times. It's awesome. Did you remember those nights where like you'd have bonfires and be getting drunk and then like you just oh, go all night God. and the sun starts coming up and it's just like, oh shit. Like it's just, just mm-hmm. such great times, man. Uh, I'll, I'll, sh- I'll start chirping. I'll share, yeah. I'll share one. We 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 had this. Uh, we built this spine ramp half pipe, and and it was kind. Of, if if anyone's just old skaters or watching these old skate videos, if you've seen uh, Powell Peralta's videos, uh, search for Animal Chin, and they had this this. It was like this uh, mythical ramp, and it was in uh, it was like in the middle of nowhere, and you had to search for uh they went on a search for this uh, this animal chin guy and uh and it was this crazy half pipe but it was, i'm just trying to set a scene of like like our ramp we built it was like way the fuck back in this field and we ran we ran all these extension cords and we built all this shit it was on my buddy's like property and you know, where his grandfather's property on this farm it was under these power lines and you're just talking about the bonfire thing. And we had this huge bonfire, dude. We had fucking like 20 people out there and, uh, we just partying all night, dude. And we had tents set up and I remember just getting in a tent with this chick, dude, and just rubbing crotch all night long. <laughs> just, just dry humping <laughs> all Oh night. yeah. Just it's dry humping with Lord and my jeans, dude. Oh, just like, worst. Oh my God, man, my, my dick's going to just, <laughs> It's got to be just rock and red, oh, dude. dude. I don't even just, know. Was, yeah, this is like bangles. bonus content. Oh yeah. yeah, this is bonus content. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I didn't say I didn't say bonus. I said boners. Boner bonus content, content, no doubt. I mean, it was. You talk about pitching a tent. I mean, we full blown had that tent. Just, just. Oh my god, dude. And the same chick. I've had these random encounters with that same chick. And like the first time I was tripping balls. Here's another part of this uh, with this chick tripping balls. That's when it started. Yeah, this is when when me this random touching encounter started with this chick and uh was the first time i ever tripped and we were at this house and i i yeah we were just hanging out and dropped a bunch of us dropped these uh black pyramids they were like these little like pyramid uh, black triangles man and oh, uh man. took that shit dude and just started going ape shit crazy eventually and hanging out in this room and it was all dark, and I think I might have said this one before, but yeah, it was it was a, there was a TV, and it was just on the, the snow, you know, the snow channel. And me and this chick were both staring, at it, and then she and then she starts giving me these eyes. But when you're tripping, you're just like, oh my god, like we're like totally mind melding, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it was, you're psychically it was connected super, at that point. Yeah, <laughs> super groovy. Yeah, like anything could happen, and so we were kind of just messing around then and then it, like i said yeah then we had this huge party and then we end up yeah it was 
oh, there's so many weird aspects of yeah. And then that, <laughs> oh, it's I remember. And then years later, because I remember growing up, she used to be, uh, date this one of my best friends, and uh, and the years later they reconnected. Like my my dude was a whitewater rafting like guide, you know, like and. And he lived in like this shack down in West Virginia. Like all these dudes just live in random things down in West Virginia, and uh, on the on the on the New River. There's the New River Gorge, which there's the New River and the Gully River. I've I've said many stories about my whitewater rafting experiences, but uh, the, but he lived there, and he ended and she ended. They reconnected and ended up moving down. They were with him, and I took a trip down one time, and she was like, "Don't say anything. Don't say anything." <laughs> <laughs> awkward. It's just so super awkward, dude. Cause I hadn't seen her in like five years, dude. And all of a sudden she's like with this dude again. I'm like, oh, what are you doing here? That's so weird. <laughs> so you brought it up? Did you bring it up? Yeah. Yeah. Amanda to, loved to Joy. him. Amanda did you bring loved it up Joy. to him? Was, yeah. No, I never, I don't think I've ever, yeah, I don't think I've ever talked to him about it. He's, he's married. He lives in Oregon now. Well, he, now he, now he knows I, about it. Uh, yeah. If he ever listened listen to the show, I think his brother, does a podcast him and a friend they do a, a some type of podcast I, i'm not sure my mom told me about it is it called the rub and crotch i think it's like a true crime thing or something <laughs> it's called yeah. the chafed willy pod the chafed oh, willy man. <laughs> that's my random weird encounter with you should call this episode rub and <laughs> rub and crotches <laughs> rub and crotches <laughs> Dude, I, I, 99 crotch rubs. Yeah, man. So that's a weird combo uh, memory for sure. With that, yeah, shit. that made me and just laugh. sex, just like any kind of sexual experience when you're tripping is so it's weird. It's weird. It's so, it's so weird. weird. Yeah, like dude, it's just yeah. God, I remember. I remember one time totally I, remembering. Oh. I remember totally not being able to like maintain a boner. No, no, dude. Everything's weird. Uh, you're just like yeah, you're just rubbing yeah. parts on it each feels other. Like you're kind of coked out for uh, one. You know, you're all like, eh, and, um, oh, you can't feel you shit. Get distracted. Yeah. You know, you get a boner and then yeah. you hear a noise. And like, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that is, oh, that's weird. Man. I remember one time I, we had this, my buddy had a vial of liquid, just straight liquid acid. Like the, that's what you would pour on like the sugar cubes and stuff. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. When people start, so we had a whole vial of shit and we, we took that shit and we went and saw, um, the man, uh, the, Matthew Broderick Godzilla movie. Jesus, that one, the worst one. Ever. Yeah, oh, man. it was like <laughs> holy shit. Holy yeah, it was shit. crazy. There was there's a few scenes where you're just like, Dude, that oh my god, been, that yeah. movie would have been so awesome if Godzilla was actually in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it was like barely in it. I know it was so crazy. Under there was like the two shots. Yeah, the like whole time. Shots. Yeah, there was like two scenes where your face, his <laughs> face, got like up in yours. You know, it was like, man, if you, yeah, if you go to and the theater tripping, dude, it's actually tail full-blown 3d experiment experience <laughs> All right. yeah but i saw Coraline in the theater tripping oh, oh weird 3d yeah that was a little more that was in 3d yeah yeah huh. and i remember going home after that or yeah i was living with my ex at the time i went back home and uh i was playing resident evil on the playstation and like I was standing like at the foot of the bed, the TV is there. You know, I'm just standing there for like two and a half hours straight. And then, yeah, just feeling like I'm slowly melting into the floor. <laughs> like it just whack, dude. Like you just lose all sense of all that stuff. But you're just thinking and having, it's just so much fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm reminded of, uh, this is sort of related, but me and my friend had a, this girl that we were both kind of chasing after. Uh-huh. And we we're probably like, 13 years old and she we were like oh yeah she's like the best looking girl ever and i ended up uh being the guy who maybe got well maybe it was you got that you won the, no, the I, yeah. I got to ki- I, I kissed her but it was oh, like yeah. it was the weirdest kiss ever she was just like a real weird weird yep. kisser and i remember just being like it just ruined everything it oh was like, she was just like so good looking too good to be true and then she kissed <laughs> It's real weird. It was real like dude, in, in the trailer park where I lived, there was dude, obviously there's tons of kids. So there was tons of chicks at the time. And uh, there was like five or six of them that lived in, in the same like cul-de-sac type area where I lived. And yeah, I was super young. I was probably like, yeah, I was probably like 12 ish, 13. You know, like when you're first saying, Oh, I got a girlfriend, you know, like, and, uh, and, 
and they made it a game where they all dated me for a week. <laughs> so I had each different chick for like a week. And, and, and the re- and how I dated them, it was like I we we traded it necklaces or something. It was like the dumbest thing ever. But it, and then yeah, I got and then the one chick, and then it was time to kiss, and she just slowly walks up and you're saying like super awkward just like it was like just made up on the spot like just the dumbest thing ever like so every chick yeah because like at the end of the week or whatever they would switch <laughs> like then they're all just dating me it was like five chicks at the same time basically it was like what the hell yeah. well then i th- then i think my my friend kissed kissed the girl too and we had like a laugh because we were both like yeah she's like the the worst kisser yeah <laughs> in the yeah, world get the bond and then shit on her <laughs> It's, it's the patriarchy so patriarchy at its finest i love it yeah <laughs> but by now she probably knows how to kiss at this point <laughs> oh this is so many weird memory lanes <laughs> oh my god oh I had, I, everyone's got a million stories man i just love telling them and hanging with you guys and telling everybody uh my, um, about life donated, in general, donating to the show Oh, what Christmas Dude, does. I'm going to tell everybody to donate to the show. We could use a donation. That'd be cool. That would be awesome, would be man. Sweet. Which is a shout out to uh, Lady Aboshi who sent us a few yes. ones the other week. Hey, yeah, thank you. Where Thanks are you at? Hey, you're not here tonight. No, nah, she's I around. I see her. All right, cool. Well, shout out to her and yeah. everyone else listening everybody on else. Our America yeah. FM. And everyone that downloads this show. We hit yeah, 99 man. episodes, dude. 99 episodes. Let's, let's check out the download count right now. Let's see where we're at. Oh, man. Let's do it that would be. We'll do a live. How, on how Remember when we hit, man, there was like a, I mean, it's weird thinking about that. Like you're going Remember up, when you hit 10,000? Yeah. yeah it like, cool. I remember when we hit 1,000. I was like, fucking A, dude. No yeah. way. Yeah, I think we're get, we gotta be in the twenties. Ninety nine show. Yeah, we're we're. I think we're a little over twenty five. That's, that's if I could ever log some, in the libs in here. So cool. Yeah, we're at twenty seven thousand four hundred seventy nine oh, yeah. after ninety nine episodes. <clears throat> so yeah, that's cool. We got some listeners. We just hit about fifteen thousand. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. It's so crazy when you see that. You're. I mean, like I. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. All you guys. Thank you, Jerry. Thank. Oh my God. Thank you. Yeah. It's it's beautiful. It's magic. been a wild ride. We built, man. A, we built a community around this. We built People a community out, yeah. around this. Doing this around a friendship. Yeah. No oh, doubt. Exactly. No doubt about it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A fellowship. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> fellowship of the Zoom. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, oh, and we so were meeting so many cool people. I mean, like, yeah. Jacob now he's hanging. I mean, there's so yeah, many thanks, cool people. If you guys, yeah, yeah, if you have something to say or want to interact even more, be up, be my guest. I eat, be our cool. guest. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Watcher <laughs> and uh, yes. Mar- Martian archaeologist. Yeah, yes, Martian, Martian dude. Just, yeah, just vanished him, off man. the face of the earth. <laughs> Miss him. Yep, just, he's a good guy. Just <laughs> pulled the ripcord. <laughs> uh-huh. Gone. Buddha every day. Though. We'll yeah, see dude. him again. Pray to Buddha happen, every day, yeah. dude. Yeah, <laughs> there's been so many cool people I we've had on. Man. Shot. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just uh, and I, I, we'll get more people. I, I've been in contact with a couple of people. I just we just got to make it happen, but. I, I want to bring the, I, if we do bring guests on, I want to bring them into this realm where there's a lot of you know a lot of people just dude. That's all. I, I mean, I, I think about that yeah. sometimes, but that's almost like that's chaos. Bringing somebody in, it might this. fuck a guest up. Yeah, you think? dude, I don't that'll know. fuck. A, that might well, maybe I mean up. we can do those smaller ones. Maybe yeah. I mean if if somebody has an idea or thinks they can flow with a certain type of but guest yeah. that like knows something, dude, I mean, honestly, let us know. Only, we'll try to get time, them on. I mean, the only time I it, feel like we get guests, it's either if like one of us feels real like, Oh shit, I really want to do this. Oh yeah. Stuff. If like, you feel just, it in your gonna, heart, then you yeah, know, it'll dude, work. Like, it's never yeah. like, it's not obligated or we, we just, well, like I want to, like I've been like talking it. to SMQ. He totally wants to do this. Oh yeah. Dude, hang have, yeah. So, Smokey, Smokey, we got to get him in the shit show. So yeah, like I, I have to get him on a, on a, on a, I could probably get him this weekend or something. I just got to reach out again. And we, we have, we said we want to do it. We just need a time. So, uh, I'm sure we yeah. can get Benal. I want to get all the, you know, I'd love to talk to bring him on again. Benal, come on for sure. We have oh, some yeah, he's, killer he's, guests coming up too. Oh, yeah. Look at that list. I like oh, that. Oh, you got some. Yeah. I like, what shop yeah, yeah, guests out, crazy good. Vinny East. Oh, you got John Tenney coming on. Nice. Yeah, Alan Greenfield. Damn. Yep. And that's Beautiful. just. <clears throat> I could get yeah. Alan Greenfield to come on here. 
Oh man, Robert get him anytime, man. Dude, yeah, like I mean, yeah, like in July we got Robert Guffey, Jordan Maxwell, and oh. Diana Walsh. Po- Jordan Maxwell? Po- yeah, Salt Jordan Park. Maxwell. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, I know. Isn't that awesome? And Jay Widener on the third. Oh, hey, that'd be oh great. Oh yeah, man. So, well, dudes, yeah. I, oh, I think God. I want to take August off. I haven't talked to this yet. But. Yeah. You might need a break. I mean, I don't, the, sometimes I, you get in the doldrums a little bit of doing not like, I mean, Later you get down and about, but once they, once I, I fire like the long. zoom up and they get in here with all you guys, it just goes away. No doubt about it. Like, Oh, I don't mind doing it, it nor does it yeah. bother me in any way. It's just, you uh, want a break. It just gets yeah. not after a while. Mm-hmm. Sure. It can be that way. Yeah. That's why you, like, you want to jam us out. Oh, I, don't know, okay. I could I could do the Pete and Pete uh oh. theme song. Have you learned DuckTales yet, bitch? <laughs> DuckTales, no, dude? Oh no, man. I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> no, it can't be that hard. We need a request line for Felix in the chat. I could do the Pete and Pete song. <laughs> Pete and All Pete. Right. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, well, well thanks the, for listening. Yeah, thanks everybody. for everyone for the 99. Yeah. And Jake, you should just tell Alan we're here every Tuesday. Tuesday, come on yeah, yeah, have him come out. And just just give him part of the me, show. <laughs> he specifically said to me the other day he's free like Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, then he's oh, coming dude, on. Yeah, Anytime, just, yeah. So. send him yeah. the invite. Let's just send him the Zoom link. Is it just really just, just send him the link, dude? Yeah. Does he need uh, people to hang out with or something? Yeah, get uh, on that's a good question. I don't know. I was just uh, cause uh, uh, me and a cult fan are probably gonna be doing something together. Ooh, oh, yeah, shout out yeah. to him, dude. Yeah, shout. Oh yeah, my we god, we need to get Nate yeah. back on. We need Nate he, on. Yep, he needs. Yeah, Nate needs to come I back on again Nate to reinvite him. I, I love <laughs> Nish. I love you. You're awesome. Oh, yeah, love like Nish. The, no, and everyone that I mean, so many people in the chats. I mean, God, we have. A lot of people hanging out in our chat in the Discord chat. You can find yeah. us on uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Yeah, we're uh, around. You can find the links. We got links. Cruisingwithstake.com. Dude, Check that speaking out. Of, speaking of cruisingwithstake.com, dude, I totally forgot to update my credit card info after I got a new one. So I don't know how long the site was down, but I, I went oh, to check shit. it. Like somebody joined <laughs> Discord, and I'm like, why isn't the link working? And then I looked, I was like, oh shit. Like, I, gotta I think about this. that too. Like, do people even go on fucking no, websites? No, nobody goes to the site. Com still works though. Like, yeah. is, uh, did they just hit their 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 social media and that's it? Yeah, I mean, it's like, all Twitter. They just we could, we could flashes probably, and we colors could, and click on shit. No, but just the website. Yeah, yeah. We, easily the RSS feed website. into our podcast player or our iPad or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, there's so many ways you can listen to our yeah. show. It, We're it, on fucking your website everywhere. is just presenting your your feed on a web page uh, on yeah, the web page. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, they're they're consuming your website. Well, with our, not, uh, yeah, I mean our site we yeah. we got links to like uh, we got links to Nox Mente, we got links to Felix's yep. stuff, the we got failed paintings, we got failed paintings on there. Check out our site. Yeah. I keep forgetting oh, to failed. I love that dude. Yeah. You should look at the stats though and see how many people actually I should, use it. Should check that out. But yeah, thanks for listening, guys. Felix yeah, is find play us, us out, if you want to come hang out. Just, These are, I'm talking to the people that maybe listen to the show, that download the show. Yeah, just if you feel free, man, come find the link, click it. It's an awesome community. Everyone will uh, blow your minds in this chat room. I mean, if if you want your mind blown, just hit the memes uh, channel in our chat room, oh, yeah. and or the or the anime. Dude, no Jake has been channel. dropping some crazy ass shit, dude. I like, dumped a bunch while we were on the show. Oh my god! Or, or, or if you want, every talk, time yeah. I click on it, there's like a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. I mean, it, there's so much content. Or if you, or if you want to talk room. about manga or anime with Grim, yeah, I've been dropping a lot of memes. Really yeah. like, <laughs> and, and you'll be in tears by the time you're done. You'll have to. <laughs> god, yeah, you'll really have a whole different take on life after about <laughs> two minutes scrolling down through that thing dude i could talk talk about anime with grim steak (laughs) yeah there you you can talk anime i can i can teach you some drywall tips and tricks yeah Uh, i I, god we can talk electric universe i mean i made a room oh my god i man we could go on another Uh, hour you were talking today with electricity and stuff oh my god (laughs) cryptocurrencies yeah oh and crypto being banned yeah (laughs) 
Man, what are you talking about? Well, uh, they want well, to try to can crypto because it's anti-American. Uh, this show's never going to end if we try to start on that. <laughs> yeah, we got we got to we got to save that for another show. Let's wrap. It I up. know <laughs> we're getting deep, man. We, we but man, this is what yeah, happens. We can go one hundred. We can go. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what yeah. happens. Ready? Ready? Yeah. All right, dude. Let's do it. Yep, thanks, thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening. Yep. Hey, smile. It's strange. You're looking happily deranged Could you settle to shoot me? Or have you picked your target yet? Hey Sandy Does your dog bite? Hey Sandy Four feet away End of speech, it's the end of the day. We was only funning, but guiltily, I thought you had it coming. Hey, Sandy, does your dog bite? Hey, Sandy. Does your dog bite? Yeah, yeah, and hey, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Does your dog bite? Yeah, yeah, and hey, Sandy. Thanks for listening. Bring all your effort into it. I will. Take all your effort. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Microphone check. There are so many people here. And the noise is in the street. And the man walking down the street with a nice suit and a nice tie. Man's over to pick up his wallet. And the bus by the bottom. So that's him in the face with a bottle. Now isn't that hilarious? Isn't that hilarious? Home of the fake rap lady owns. Here's a shout out to Silver Here's a shout out to Mr. D. Here's a shout out to Silver Here's a shout out to Silver Fox. Stills in the tussles. They need nothing. They need nothing. This is the story of the Anamana P of Kenny Mitchell. At the post office This is a direct reference to Brookwood Elementary Brookwood Elementary Brookwood Elementary By the nippers in great new things Of the cherries and the berries and the wood On the vine We slide into the to the cold rock, to the hill, to the hill, to the cemetery, hill, to the cemetery, hill, to the cemetery, Silver Fox, Silver Fox.